I have one healing potion left, is that right? You have one left, that's correct. So why would I give it to McConnell if I'm about to die? No, I was about, I was gonna toss you one so you could, whatever. All right, listen. Are you trying to kill this guy or are you just trying to knock him out? I'm trying to delete, I'm trying to yeet and delete him. No, All no, right. No, 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 no. I'm gonna cut him in half. I hold my hand out to McConnell like this for a high five. I ignore it. I go like this. I high five myself. I, I see what you're trying to do. And I reach down and I take my axe and I cut the guy's other leg a little bit. This is not <laughs> justice. This is not fucking cool. You see the eyes of an imp and it says, Spider come. Spider surround. Dawn that come. come. <laughs> Dawn come. Dead surround. And you see something very quickly dash behind you. <laughs> right, okay. No okay. way. Are you uh, fucking kidding? You saw me? something. You can see like its legs kind of uh, showed up as it dashes into the tree, and one more time as it suddenly leaps. Oh my god! There's what something. The else here. Oh my! And I, I channel all of the power of my deity as I move my hands down, touching the spider, and I just let out an eldritch blast and push. Oh no! Oh no! No! That's big. No. That's fucking big. I, I look at the spider and I look at that that crystal that that like emanating force inside of it, and I look at it and I I do a savage swing directly at it. Fuck it, dude. All right, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm gonna take out this spider. Watch this, boys. Ooh, yo! As something starts to pulse from within it, deep yeah. blue light is shining all around you, emanating from its core, and something starts to crawl out. The thing crumples. This monstrosity is breathing its last. It turns around, reaches back in, and grabs something. And with a grunt of exertion, squats and pulls itself out of the body, rolling to the ground right next to you coughing deeply injured and grasping right next to you rich it looks just like oh. that undead spike that you looted in the first episode except larger it's a big crystal gem almost being wrapped up by the device and you can feel that amulet thrumming very quickly the girl just came out and destroyed the spider from the inside out Nah, that's because I got it. I, 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 I weakened it up. It was beauty that killed the beast. Thank you. I didn't know you felt that way about me. Well, well, well. Back at it again, gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Dungeons and Dragons. Today, we are joined, as always, with Rich and also McConnell, as well as Riku. Today, we will be continuing the adventure doing what we need to do, and also leveling up our characters. Guys, how you doing? Good. I'm good. Good? Oh, great. Right. So we last time, last time we picked off and uh, we were thinking about uh, leveling up our characters picked up. And um, I, uh, Riku, you want to go ahead and uh, let's just, let's just start it right off. I want to get this going. I want to get my character leveled up. I want to get my new abilities. You gave me an idea of what I'll be able to pick, and I gave you my choice. So uh, you want to go through it and start this off? Perfect. So I'll just All go right. ahead, set the mood, and then we'll walk through your characters right before we start back. Or right when we get to the map, we'll get your characters ready to go. Okay. Time to get to everyone. We'll let Rich yeah, keep reading good. his book and studying. So, guys, hey, it's been one hell of a week. I'm Riku D20. For those of you that were here last time, it's good to see you again. For those of you that are new, welcome. It's nice to meet you. I'm the dungeon master for this campaign, but what does that mean? These three gentlemen control everything about their characters. A barbarian, a warlock, and a paladin, each one growing in power by the day. But I, I control the world. From the weather, to the trees, to their friends and their foes, to everything that they'll see and everything that they'll know. But I'm no one scary. I'm not trying to give everyone nightmares by throwing sentient spiders at them or anything. 
I'm just a humble storyteller. And what a story it's been so far. Rich was surrounded by bandits, but was able to get his AoE cast off before anyone could react. Asmund straight up beheaded a guy and chopped off another's legs as their teammates ran for their lives. While Rich implanted an undead spike in the beheaded enemy, Asmund looted all sorts of magical goodies, leaving McConnell to tend to their vanquished foe. They set forth deeper in the forest to finish their mission, but were ambushed by the very spiders they had hoped to hunt. A large, ferocious, aberrant monstrosity charged at them, and as they weakened it, a humanoid figure burst forth from its thorax and pulled out another spike, just like Rich's. Where will they go here, I wonder? Oh well, hey, that's not my call to make. You boys ready to level up? Oh, I'm ready to level up, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, let's go. All right, so here's how this is gonna work. We'll go in order, we'll start with Asmin. So Asmin, you've been playing this not nature loving, but really into nature barbarian. And the yes. spirits of nature itself are coming to your aid. You remember that bear that you killed way back in those early days? Oh, that you yes. Carried spell with you? Yes, I it, do. It has become your totem spirit, granting you the aspect of the bear. Whenever you rage, you now take half damage from everything except for psychic damage. Remember those poison spiders? They're not going to be dealing nearly as much damage to you anymore. And as an agent of the wild, you can now, if you meditate for 10 minutes, cast Speak with Animals, as well as another way to swap your senses with a beast. Some interesting options have now made its way available to you. So I could talk to a cat? You can talk to a cat, you can talk to a yeah. spider, you can talk to... Um, you can talk to Rich, given that he's basically an animal in this campaign. You can, uh, you can talk to, you can talk to anyone. Thank God. <laughs> uh, this is exactly is everything I could have ever wanted. Perfect. What do you mean? Yeah. What are you gonna, what are you gonna ask a cat? Hey, cat, are you a cat? You have no idea. This is an advantage that he does not deserve to have. I'm pissed. Oh, geez. Well, you don't know what I'm gonna ask a cat because you can't know because I'll be talking in cat language. What's what exactly is cat language? I want to hear it, Asmund. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a lot of those. Okay, but you have to do it in just the right way. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's there is one cool thing that we get to do now that you've leveled up because you need to get more HP so you can tank more hits. Now, normally for the first two levels, we gave you the expected value of uh, of HP, you know, to give you some legs to stand on. But you now what fun is there in not expecting the unexpected? We're going to have you roll for HP with a twist. You're going to roll HP with advantage and we'll let the dice fall where they may. So if you go to your character sheet, all right. If you see the hit dice uh, a thing on your character sheet, go ahead and roll it for me twice, really slowly so we can see the roll. Hit oh, that's dice. That's... Where oh, is hit that's... dice? Ah, yes. Oh, I guess uh, McConnell will, I guess we'll just do you first. Um, so McConnell, uh, you rolled up to an 11 and up to a nine. So you're gonna take 11 HP. Uh, I guess you got the ninja a uh, ninja level up on Asmin on that one. So your current hit points goes up by 11. You don't heal anything else, but that is a pretty solid roll. Uh, that's a really good one, actually. Uh, now, Asmin, I guess uh, we've had a little bit of a priority inversion, uh, but go ahead and roll hit dice. It's on your core uh, I see part of now. your sheet. Yep. Perfect. Let's okay. Just roll one. All right, let's roll the first one. Okay, it's an uh, eight. Oh, a three, right. two, and 11. Go one more time. Come on, one more time, one more time. All right, let's go. Nah, McConnell rolled like an 11 or a nine or something, right? Yeah, and you got double 11s. So, so shouldn't I shouldn't I get the 11 since it was my turn and McConnell only gets an eight? What? Uh, you, did, you got 11, you have plus yeah. three on your hit dice. Oh, I got, wait, I got 11? Yes, you rolled uh, oh. that dice, but you got to add yeah. three onto the eight to 11. So yeah. you also get 11 HP on your maximum. Uh, you're at 36 uh, HP maximum. That is a chunky barbarian. I'm a, I'm a big boy. All right, all right. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. All right, so McConnell, I guess we already got your HP out of the way. And I know that you've been very excited uh, to play a very specific type of paladin that uses two-handed weapons and brings pain to their foes. You have now leveled up to a point where you can fully take on the Oath of Vengeance. 
you get some new abilities to channel the divinity within you, to frighten or weaken your foes, as well as some new spells. And of course, you get to choose your new tenants that, tenants that you swear by. You follow the law of the land if you would like, or you serve the higher law of nature itself and the gods themselves. But it is your choice, Paladin. You can choose whatever you'd like. Just play the character the way you want, and of course, use those smites and that new HP buff to get all the pain rolling on your foes. Yep. Hell yeah, I'm gonna gonna play my Paladin exactly how I want to with a two-handed weapon, unlike other games that suck ass. <laughs> Well, you know, there's other ways you can uh, cast magic. It doesn't necessarily have to be holy magic. No. I mean, you know, it's not really the same thing. No. I mean, you could maybe potentially no. try. There are other options nope. that you could. Maybe if you. I don't want to. to. But what about I don't if you were. No, I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Not high enough on persuasion, it seems, Asmin. Fucking bullshit. Now, Rich, uh, you are the last one to get your level up. So you are now, up. you are getting closer and closer to your patron. And you have elected to take the Pact of the Chain, which lets you summon a familiar with a find familiar spell. Whenever you get a chance to, it takes about an hour. So you have to weave it into the adventure somehow. You can choose all kinds of options. And of course, we can, if you want any special uh, type of minions, we'll, we can find a way to make it work for you in RP. But the most important thing, you get two more spells. And we have to get you some more HP. So go ahead and roll your hit dice. All right, well, at least you get to roll. <laughs> at least you get to roll one more to try to save from that. So bad. Seven. There you go. There you go. A seven plus two to a nine. So I guess uh, I guess rolling HP with advantage is, uh, is is quite good. So you go up. You are at a hit point maximum of 26. Big. That's big. All right. What That's good. Heck? What was Dude, my max? I literally have more health than than Asmin once I get rolling. If you, you, you are thirty three, right? Oh, and then I get I get my temporary oh, hit points from my patron, and then I, I can cover myself in frost because my my heart is so cold. You do have that spell, yes. They won't stack, but you have the ability to get uh, more H. You can tie with Asmin uh, in oh, terms they of do, they don't stack. I I can't get nine additional hit points. I can only get uh, maximum of five then. Ah uh, yes, your uh, whenever you kill the enemy, you'll get five HP, uh, five temporary HP. If you don't have anything, or it's less than that, when you cast that other spell that you're thinking of, it, you can cast it as a second level spell for plus ten. You won't make it stack, but it is a lot of HP, and that spell, uh, you know very well, uh, just how useful it can be when you're surrounded in melee. Yeah, yeah, time to shred. Perfect. Right before we get started, I need to make two announcements. Asmin, remember I said okay. I would check the rules last time? Uh, on yes. that last hit, when you are doing opportunity of attack, you actually cannot take a reckless attack. That was my mistake. But you can elect to take a savage swing. But of course, you got a really epic crit on that, so I think it worked out best for everyone. So just wanted to let you know that I did check the rules and we got you ready to go. Well, now, it Rich, didn't even fucking mm -hmm. matter though, right? Because like the spider, we didn't even get a chance to kill the spider. The spider just turned into this fucking uh, Algalon thing. It didn't turn I'm... into it. She was inside <laughs> of the spider. She came, she came out of it. Uh, sure. As the holder of truth, I'm not supposed to give too many details. But I can definitely say that your last hit really helped her get out of there. So I guess you got some credit in that entire escapade. I do my best. <laughs> I know you do, Asmin. I make you feel very dude. <laughs> and now, Rich, one thing I need to call out for you. Remember you took 19 damage on a critical hit from a firebolt. You were actually supposed to take half damage down to nine because as a tiefling, you have hellish resistance. You're able to tank fire by cutting it in half, just like how Asmir reduced some stuff. Now, I looked at the rolls in terms of what the enemies did. You would have been able to tank one more hit and stay alive. That was my mistake. But I'm going to give you inspiration in exchange. Now, inspiration is going to work a little bit differently in this campaign. You don't merely get to choose advantage. This will let you take any dice roll that you make and turn it into a 20. So Wait, we'll add what? That is, uh, this is what happens. And now, for those in the audience, especially those that want to play D&D, especially want to DM for their friends, 
I'd like to address you directly. You will make mistakes. You'll be juggling all kinds of things. But it's very important that when we make mistakes, we acknowledge it, we own it, and we do our absolute best to make it right. We don't run from it, we don't hide for it, and we most definitely do not use our authority as DMs to browbeat our players and get them to forget it. Damn. That is some mark-ass behavior, and we cannot tolerate that at all. And especially in the gaming community, I think accountability is something that we really, really want a lot of people to have. You should so, talk to my ex-girlfriend, man. Yes. <laughs> Don't do this to me, Rich. But, Rich, my apologies. I hope that this ability to bend fate in your favor. And remember, uh, this is uh, a token that I'm giving to you. You can use it for yourself, or you can use it for any of your friends. Yo, but that's can, all I have. Can you make, also, can you make some wanna, mistakes for me? <laughs> I want to <laughs> say that it is actually in my character's uh, RP to cheat. So What? It, it, yeah. Uh, to cheat and to do anything, anything for a win, man. Like anything for the loot. So as soon as like, it, so like if I'm casting abilities, I'm not supposed to be casting. That's actually, it, it's indirectly more emergent and more uh, intuitive because that's what my character is supposed to do. Oh, I, definitely yeah, think, sure. I definitely think we can roll with that. Speaking of rolling, I think we got everything out of the way. You boys ready to roll some dice? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So last we left off, uh, you felled this great uh, horrifying beast and this uh, figure erupted forth uh, from it. Uh, it's on the ground. It's coughing. And you can see off to the side those spiders you were initially fighting. Remember, Rich, you were you were communicating with one of them. They're perched on the ridges crouched very low, watching you, but it seems like they are not attacking. There is a little bit of peace. Can, wait, so now that I have my ability, can I roll to talk to them? Yes, you will need 10 minutes of meditation and you'll be able to talk to beasts. How do I, how do I meditate for 10 minutes? Oh, you just, you just tell me that you want to start meditating. You can choose a nice place to sit uh, anywhere on the map, and uh, we'll let the okay. other two uh, just continue playing, and then we'll take it over to you when it's time. Okay. Is my thing go... supposed to be gray, by the way? Uh, your, your thing? Yeah, my map. Uh, you know oh. what? I want, Riku, I want to go over by these mushrooms over here. I think these are going to make it easier for me to talk to spiders. <laughs> Most certainly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And McConnell, um, you said that you are having some trouble seeing the map? Yeah. I will look into that while we just continue on. Uh, we'll let you guys yeah, no interact problem. with that uh, thing, but thank you for letting me know. Yep. Okay. Awesome. So, so uh, she coughed, you said? Yeah, she's, uh, she emerged from the belly of the beast, just covered in small lacerations all over uh, the body. Coughing fluids struggling to hold on to her breath. Do, yeah, I, think, uh, do I like have like a, a handkerchief? I, you know what? I, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna rip off like a small patch of my clothing, like from the sleeve or something, and I'll rip it up in like a little square. I'm gonna go up to her and offer it like a handkerchief and say, "Milady." Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, she sits back down. She doesn't seem like she's too steady in her legs. You can tell they're kind of they're quivering just a little bit. She starts to uh, wipe herself Fine. Yep. clean. Uh, <laughs> she's glancing around. She notices the other spiders, but she doesn't seem too worried about them at all. Uh, she looks at you and says, Thank you. It seems like I interrupted uh, a little bit of a, uh, a conversation here, glancing at this uh, dead body, looking at a lot of the various wounds that your party has dealt to it. Really quick, is the dead guy that I tried to resurrect? Ugh. What what's he doing? Yeah, where's 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 Timmy the, the headless zombie at? Is he, he is. It wasn't even a zombie. You, yeah, you he didn't wasn't even a zombie yet, was him. he? It's just what? a corpse. No, no, no. He was a corpse. Well, right now. I, I'm I'm checking. I mean I mean a, a chicken is an egg before it's a chicken. This guy, it corpse, goes to zombie. I'm trying to see if he's zombie yet. 
it's definitely not moving at the moment in terms of the overall look of it. Uh, it seems like nothing has happened positive or negative yet. Uh, it may be taking some time. Okay, okay cool. Um, all right, so I, I'm going to straight up uh, the the girl who I just talked to. I, I'm just going to be like, how how did you find yourself inside of the spider? I, I'm slightly at a, a loss for words after seeing what just happened. Yeah, what the fuck happened? True. He picks up uh, the device that she's kind of left on the ground right next to her and holds it up and says, why I went in to get this thing back out. She speaks with complete disregard from her own injuries and her own life. Wait, so... So you... You willingly got eaten by the creature to retrieve your item? She nods. Not my item, but I'm a scout. Something has been messing with these forests, and I need to come back with an answer. This thing over here is definitely not normal, and I could sense there was something coming from deep within it. Maybe it ate something? So I figured I might as well jump in, and if I couldn't find anything, well, I would just kill it from the inside and just, you know, kind of deal with it. Uh, do you come to this far as often, or uh, are you just, just strolling through? We don't really come down here often. We like to let uh, the people hunt and do as they will. We try not to bother them. There's nothing wrong with hunting, after all. We? We, yes. I am but merely a scout. Who's she, uh, we? Who are you? She starts to stand up, just kind of uh, her legs are starting to get their footing uh, back again. And she says, I, I am a scout of the Chrono Sadin. We are the people of the forest that guard these areas. We leave far, far deeper in. Some people call us truth elves, but that's not the name that we use for ourselves. We got a truer. So, do you have to tell the truth at all times, no matter what? He smirks. I don't, but other people may. Hmm. Seems to be hinting at some kind of ability. What do you How think? What do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. Shit. What the fuck? <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> no, I, I, I can't interfere with this. I'm meditating, okay? I don't know. This I'm is a sitting. good creature, probably, right? I mean, it can't be bad. Well, I mean, you didn't you sense, like, uh... You, like, sent, what, what did I, you I sense... sense you... I sense there was something in the... In the the beast, but I don't know if it was good or bad, I don't think. But remember, it was like flickering. You were sensing like multiple things inside. Yeah, it's something beast. I never I never experienced before or something like that, right? Yes, that's correct. It was swapping rapidly between Fiend, Undead, and Fae. Oh, now, maybe, maybe this thing is bad. I don't know. Never mind, sorry. Yeah. Fiend, Fiend and Fae. Fiend, she's, Fae, she, and she, 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 She's probably a Fae. Yeah, Faye, Faye's like a, like a fairy, right? Um, Faye. Um, hmm. It's like they got wings and shit. Yeah. Anyway. Not necessarily a fairy. It's like Tinkerbell. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, can we trust... Can we trust the, the Faye? Are, aren't, they, aren't they tricky? Aren't they tricksters? Oh, forest tricksters! Is it a forest trickster? She's a trickster. You can definitely make a knowledge roll if you'd like to know more about this. Do you, do you want to use uh, knowledge nature, knowledge arcana, knowledge well, history? I'll do an, I'm going to do an arcana check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Ugh. Three plus four up to a seven. Not much you know about uh, various magics of the wild. But what you do know, can you give me an insight check, please? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's, where's my insight? There you go. Wait, what's your insight at? Uh, my insight? Negative one. What? And, uh, what? And, and also, when I, it, it seems like when I, I talk to women in the game, it's like negative ten. But let's see. Yeah, that's that, that's that's back to back seven. God damn! Funny number, man. Keeps popping up. 
That's a funny number. It's uh, it's showing up a lot more often this campaign than I would have thought. I'm, I'm, You're... I'm rolling like I'm, I'm Quinn 69's text to speech right now. I don't know what's <laughs> going on here. Jesus. <laughs> As you're uh, as you're talking, you can kind of see that she does not seem uh, to have any real interest uh, in hiding much information uh, from you. Her voice is uh, definitely feminine. Uh, her body is androgynous. Uh, it has no features that would be indicating uh, its gender. Only by the voice can you kind of feel that, like, oh yeah, maybe uh, that's that's a that's a that's a woman's voice. It's almost like you're staring at a living doll. Something that is serving something far greater than you to the point where it does not care about truth and lies in this specific conversation. Feel like you can maybe take uh, its words at at face value. Mm. Now she has a question for you, though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what's up? She uh, she's picked up uh, this um, this spike. Now this is much larger uh, than uh, than the spike that you're familiar with, Rich. But she looks at you and asks. This, however, is something I have not seen in these forests before. I am at a loss as to what this is, but most definitely it courses with some kind of unsavory magic. This is the, this giant spike that she's uh, talking about is the one that was inside of the spider? Yes, that is correct. And it has this um, gem at the top. So I reach out my hand and I say, may I? Uh, to kind of gesture her to put it in my hand. She nods and she hands it. Uh, uh, she puts it on your uh, on your on your outstretched palm. Um, now that I'm holding it, uh, can I do another arcana check on on this object? Certainly. There we oh! go. One eighteen. There you go. There you go. Wow. Eighteen plus four, all the way up to twenty-two. So this immediately harkens you back to that first session when you had looted uh, the spike uh, from uh, from that corpse. This is most assuredly from the same manufacturer, not like a car manufacturer or anything, but more like a uh, some kind of arcane artificer has created this. This most definitely hails from the mainland from Nessaria, which you know has quite a lot of hands in very, very, very deep and arcane and sometimes sinister, sometimes beneficial magic. They are not a nation that thinks too much about the nitty gritty of the law and morals. They think more for firing for effect. However, something feels really odd because you studied that uh, the thing that you call an undead butt clug quite often. It caught your curiosity. Mm -hmm. This thing, well, obviously it's, it's way bigger uh, than that, that particular item uh, to be used for that particular purpose. But this looks like it has a tremendous amount of magical energy, almost like it's an amplifier, amplifying the magical energies contained within this gem at the very top of where it could be the hilt. And your amulet resonates with it very, very, very quickly. So the gem has the magic and then the like. So it's it's the gem on the end uh, that the yeah. That, that has the magic. What's the point of the rest of the device? Is it simply to hold it in place? It Does it cause it to resonate? Uh, do I have any insight into like what the actual function is for the spike itself? Yes, it seems like the magic flows from this gem, coursing through small, intricate runes almost written on the spike, transforming it into some other kind of magic. But something strikes you as odd. The sheer amount of magical force contained in this device, if this were to be translated into Eldritch Blast or another type of magical attack, it would have blown this beast next to you into pieces. What what How if I what if I took what if I like ripped the gem off the top and like little Uzi verted myself? You can definitely uh do you want to try to pry it off? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to think like, you know, like, what if we what if we just take that off and just like try to try to jam it and uh, give myself the old Garlean third eye treatment? You know what I mean? Can I try that? You can definitely um, remove it now. This gem. Are, are you going to try to actually remove it? Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's go. Uh, right. You, you fiddle with the machinery. No check needed. It twists and it pops off 
unveiling some kind of carved machinery into the side of the gem as if it's been carved out by someone with very sharp tools. It fits into uh, the base of this spike uh, almost perfectly. The spike itself now seems considerably more bereft of magical power. And now you're holding this gem. It's much bigger than your eye. I don't think you'd want to shove this into your own skull. But you have kept the two separated, which may make this device considerably more safe to carry. How big is it? Could I fit it in my mouth? Oh, Jesus. Just put it in your pocket. Don't oh put it God. in you at all. It's the size of like a grapefruit. Those things can get pretty big. Yeah. Don't even think about it. Why? Well, I'm definitely thinking about it. I, I haven't made a decision yet. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it a little bit more. Uh, while I'm while I'm gripping the grapefruit, and I've 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 holstered essentially the spike on my side because you know right now it seems like there's there are gems that are basically gems of power that are being used and i think even with one gem of power like this gem of power i have i think if i created my own spike and inscribed it with the right spells i could harness that magic that way but maybe i can be the spike maybe i can find a way to use this gem and actually harness its abilities and become a, a god but while i'm thinking about all of that i say to the fey i say um i say what know you of the dawn reaver Tilts her head, Dawn Reaver. I've never heard that phrase in my in my life. Do you know something? Does it have something to do with this? I I, I think that it may, but uh, but I am not certain. Have you seen? Uh, you you mentioned that you're a scout. You mentioned that you're a protector. Is this something that's been going on for a long time, or is this like an occurrence that's very unique to you? Nods. It is very rare. It's actually started very recently, only a couple of weeks ago, and only recently has it gotten this bad. She points up this path, just kind of pointing off into the distance. Over here, you can see that this forest is starting to ail, and this creature most definitely paid some kind of price. Far deeper here, it looks a lot worse. The trees, the ground, the grass, they've turned black as if held in between a state of rot and life i don't know what's happening in the middle of that i have not gotten a chance to i had to deal with this creature first there may be some other beast there something else but i need to get to the bottom of this okay i well so you said it only started like a week ago what were you doing before then like what, what it seems like this gig really just kind of popped up so uh what were you doing before all that happened normally we just make rounds make sure things are looking quite nice and simple other than that we relax we watch we wait only when we started feeling that the energies of this force were starting to get thrown out of balance did our tribe deem it necessary to send out scouts i would like to meet your leader yeah you're not of course I'd be more than happy to make an introduction, but I cannot go back empty-handed. I am a scout, and I have my honor. I must get to the bottom of this first, at any cost. And then, for sure, I'll be making my way back to the Elders to get their counsel. All fine and dandy. Now, All right. hmm? Where are you thinking, McConnell? I'm thinking when we get to the elders, I think we we can, can we can we accompany you to your elders? Mm -hmm. She thinks to herself. Now, normally we're quite a reclusive tribe, but you seem like you were here for some kind of reason. If you yeah. help me solve this problem, I may be able to grant you an audience. Okay, we'll help you immediately. We'll help you. Not now. These people have been talking for a while. Asmin, you've been meditating uh, by a bunch of mushrooms off I the sure side. Have. You're, uh, you're you're thinking to yourself. You're communing with the new spirits of the wild. You can feel that bear hide that you wrapped around yourself, thrumming with some kind of power, uh, being your totem into the great beyond. And slowly, the ritual 
starts to materialize. You've now cast Speak with Animals. So, okay. Um, I'm gonna, can I, can I go and talk to, uh, talk to something? Yes, you can talk to anything you'd like. Oh, anything? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go over, first thing I wanna do is, uh, see this rock? Mm hmm I'm gonna lean down, and I'm gonna knock on it, and I'm gonna say hello. What, what do I have to roll for that? Um, yeah, in fact, uh, you can, you can just roll straight up a persuasion if you'd like to persuade it to talk. I will. Fortween, you speak very persuasively toward the rock, uh, but it seems like the uh, the rock itself uh, is uh, is not an animal. Uh, it does it does not respond to you. the uh, The rock was neither a pet rock or wild rock. It is just normal rock. Unfortunately, your words do not connect. Um, I guess uh, I should have clarified. Uh, you can uh, you you can speak with uh, animals, living creatures with beating hearts. So like things that so like things that like like pets like things that could be pets. Yes, um, you can speak with wild beasts. You can speak with uh, pets. You can speak oh, with uh, anything. I had, a, I had a pet rock. Uh, one okay, time. okay. I, I should roll the twenty on that one. Um, all right. Can I go over here? Can I talk to Mr. Spider? Maybe. Yes. All right. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and I, do I persuasion him again? Oh, you can just tell me what you'd like to say. Okay, I, I'm gonna ask the spider. I'll be like, listen, bro, like, what the hell are you doing around here? You got your big old, your boy here, the, I guess, like, I don't know, like the spider king. We just beat his ass, and now you're just standing around. What the hell are you doing here? Great. The spider responds to you. Seems a little bit surprised that it's being spoken to, and it has the ability to understand yeah. a language. This is obviously very new to it. The spider turns just rotates uh, from where it is almost like it's uh face is pointing toward the beast saying that beast no spider king that beast alliance it seems what like does that what does that mean what's an alliance well, alliance with what it seems like the spiders these ones are much more intelligent than you would have realized normally uh, when you're speaking with animals they can barely grunt just small ideas it seems like this is a tribe of spiders, which you can notice that the other spiders are very slowly and non-threateningly making their way down the cliff as if to come talk to you very Riku. gently. Riku? Uh, mm -hmm. me, me, and, me and Rich are concerned, okay, as we okay. see this. We're concerned. Is, 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 are, the are the spiders smarter than me? What is the intelligence on your character sheet? Negative one. <laughs> I'm not normally supposed to give out statistics, but uh, uh, unfortunately, these spiders are actually uh, considerably smarter than you. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ, dude. I mean, you saw them like uh, oh. hunting and ambushing you guys and uh, having oh. all kinds of tactics. Ask him, ask him to bite you, dude. It might make you oh. better. They also didn't uh, just straight up murder people like hobo-like adventures. Uh, it seemed like they were watching, trying to uh, not kill you guys if they could help it. They're very uh, smart and very friendly spiders. They're almost like spider adventurers. Oh, fuck. Okay, all right. Um, spider adventurers? Uh... Oh, man, I don't know what to. I don't know what to do. Oh, like, dude, I'm so, I'm so worried. Go ahead. Remember the adventurers on the boat? What if they went into the forest and got turned into the spiders? What? If, I, I like. All right. No way. Are you? I'll ask the spider. Are you a, a spider or are you a person in disguise of a spider? Uh, it, it shakes, uh, just moving to the left and to the right, as if it's trying to like say, uh, "No, I spider. They spider." We spider tribe. Okay. All right. That makes sense. <laughs> this is what they said. And they're smarter than you. <laughs> That's how they said it. Okay. Asmin, I gotta. I, yeah, I want you to ask him a question. Okay. All right. Ask him how long it takes to get exalted. Uh, they could be our spider how, buddies. How long? How many special rocks does I need to give you? for you to tell me all the things that you know. 
you take one special rock. And I give him a, yeah, and it's a gem, but it, these are special rocks. That's really what, what the, it's really what they are. The, uh, the, uh, the, this spider glances at this exchange happening, this conversation between, uh, yeah. Rich and the Fae. It says, not that special rock, one more special rock in forest, in dark forest. Bring to us, heal forest, we tell everything. Uh, well, couldn't that be the rock that Rich has? Because I was obviously looking over at him. Why I don't we... taking this one for me, man? Well, just see what he has to say. Oh, I'm shit. Like, they want Rich's rock? No, they're, they're, they're not taking here, my rock. Rich, just let me hold it for I like a minute. No, let, no, let me, let me, no. let me get the, let me get the rock right. Just pull my sword out. Are you Two. trying to take the rock? Are you trying no, to get it? No, I'm not trying to take the rock. I'm just trying to get it. I'm, I'm, just, it. I'm just. All right, all right. Can I? Uh, okay, all right. I'll trade you. I'll trade you, Rich. Um, I will give you back the nine uh, platinum pieces that I took from you and you forgot about. Yeah, I will give that back to you. No, I, I, I want this I'll give one. Your, I'll give you your money back to you. I want, I want this one, man. No, what? it's not that good, man. Guys, Magic. what's going on? The spiders are fucking starting to get together. Oh, okay, I don't know what's right. going on here. Okay, okay. Oh. Well, talk to the spiders. Let me do the all magic right, stuff. All right, all right, all right. Can I, all right, all right. Can I, all right, all right. Oh my god. Uh, Riku, can I roll a sleight of hand? <laughs> Certainly, you can try to run, uh, roll a sleight of hand. I will, eat, I will eat this so you cannot get it. But you won't know. You might know. Okay. All right, and let's uh, we can contest this with perception, unless you're trying to actively stop him from trying to get in, which is we do acrobatics versus acrobatics. It's up to you, Rich. Are you gonna wrestle me for this thing? I'm not wrestling. I'm just trying to get it. That's all. I just I need the rock. Right, let me just get the special rock just for a minute, just for a minute. Let me just get the special rock real quick, dude. Just real I, quick. Let me just get it real quick. What do I gotta roll? I mean, it's underneath your uh, your passive perception, so you know he's coming for it. You can just simply. Uh, uh, you can tuck it in if you don't want him to have it. I, I'm, I'm holding on to it. I'm not letting him have it. All I, right. I'm he, holding it in my hand. I, I'm like, I'm like, I'm trying to like reach around on his hand. I'm trying to be like, can I get, come on, please. Just real you should have done acrobatics, no, 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 dude. What? You should have really done acrobatics. I just, no, I don't want it. I, I, they want it. I, I don't even want it either. I, I don't think they want it. I just wanted to know. What do what, they what, want? What do they want? Like, talk to I got to talk. Uh, Okay, I'm about right. to kill them. They're no, no, getting, no, I don't no, know no, what's going on here. I'll go talk to him again about what's the what's the rock that's going to heal the forest? How you get a rock that's going to heal the forest? It's only a rock. You got there's plenty of this rock over. I walk over. I point at this rock. Why can't you use that rock? Uh, they point down uh, the path and saying, no, that rock over there, not the one. Another rock deep in the forest. That one is hurting forest how's it gonna hurt the forest it's just a rock the forest die bubbling spider young spider nest falling gone must save forest this are hunting grounds they don't have a very good command of the language yet but they are able to form what you can notice quite complicated sets of emotions it seems like they're trying to uh to, to, to beseech you guys for help. Oh God. I'm gonna I'm a be like, all right. Riku, I need to level up my ant from plus one to plus two or some shit, man. Or sorry, minus one to minus two or something because I, I need more ant. If you need more, this why is, would you go to minus two? This is fucked up, I man. Number better person. What is going on? What do they say? What do they want? This what do they want with the rock? Up. All right, all right. I, um... I asked them, what are they going to do with the rock? And uh, yeah, I asked them that first. Okay. What uh, do you do they, they, they nod uh, and they say, you keep rock. We don't have thumbs. We just want hunting ground back. That wait, is all. I, wait, I can have the rock? You have rock. You have anything you find. We just want home back. I go over to Rich. I said, I said, Rich. Rich, I just found out about this crazy thing. And I'm like, there's another special rock that we have to go get. Yeah, and, let's and, go get the rock. And I, I go back to him and I ask him how big the rock is. Uh, it's uh, unfortunately not able uh, to really do too much except draw with one of its legs in the soil. It's again, 
about the size of a grapefruit, and it makes another marker looking like a pointed angle. It seems like it's hinting to the fact that there is another spike somewhere in the forest. Okay. All right. Really quick. Um, mm -hmm. I, I put I put the rock on Headless Timmy's chest really quick to see if it uh, gives him like enough of like a magical like little. I asked. I asked the spider. Um, I, I go down. I I put. Um, b below the circle, I put an X below the circle. You put an X right below the circle. Yeah. It looks at it. Tic -tac wait, wait, what are you doing? And yeah, it does not quite know what to do. It seems like uh, this uh, this spider has not grown up playing uh, any of these childhood games. It looks like they're intelligent, but not as cultured. I'll look over at Macau. I said, man, they stupid, huh? What do you mean they're stupid? What did they say? What happened? What happened? They died on you not play the game. Yeah, Are they to, mad? Do we gotta us, kill them? To us, you're just sitting there going like, <laughs> I'm over and playing tic-tac-toe in the dirt. You look dumb as fuck to us, man. Well, no, no. <laughs> look, so there's a special rock and we need to go. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, so uh, number one, I gotta go talk to this, this thing. I, I go and I ask this thing. I said, are you a girl? She turns to you and says, well, we don't we don't really use those words, but sure, if you'd like to address me as a she, that pronoun is perfectly fine. Nice. OK, uh, so how'd you get in a spider? <laughs> she uh, explains uh, the same thing that she was explaining uh, earlier that she uh, she she allowed it to eat it so that she'd pull out the thing. Now, while uh, you're having that conversation, she's reacting to you. Rich, uh, you put the uh, thing on top of uh, a Timmy's corpse. You notice that it's not quite uh, doing anything. In fact, you notice that the that same magical flow when it was attached to that spike is uh, it's simply not present. Maybe that other device was a standalone device, which is now inside of, uh, of Timmy. And it seems like it's it's well at its way on work, but you have this new toy uh, to play with. Do I do I have like an ETA of how long uh, I think he's going to be incubating? Do I do I can I can I do some sort of like Arcana check? To, yeah. to, to, okay. Sure. I, I'm tired of carrying around this dead weight, literally. You haven't the faintest idea. He just said he's a dead ass. It seems like it's definitely doing something, but you have no idea how long you're gonna have to let this uh, this cake bake in the oven. Am I? Am I? Uh, am I sensing anything from the dead body? Like, do I sense any like evilness, or do I have to cast that? I uh, remember you did cast your divine sense earlier, and it did not trigger anything on that body. Oh right. Mm. So you How's got that, that one for free. What? How is that possible? It's. All right, whatever. Okay, I don't know about it, so whatever. All right, I don't know why he's doing this. <laughs> I, I will also ask the spider one last thing. I will ask it, do you know of the Dawn Reaver? E, this time, the spider nods. We do not know, but that creature, that creature knew. Whisperings, whisperings from the magic stone. How are you going to talk to a rock? The, uh, it, it shakes. It just like Blue Friend over there. It extends one uh, leg pointing at Rich. Blue Friend then thought into this one's um, uh, mind uh, that this one over here very specifically seems to be calling that. This one, no, Blue Friend want to talk. That's why this one tell other spider tribe to be nice, to not kill. The well, <laughs> it's probably because I would have killed them, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. But dark whispers from the yeah. gem. It continues pointing uh, back where where it signaled that the uh, the the corruption lies. Whispers thoughts, just like Blue Friend whisper thoughts. <laughs> okay. Um. Ryan. I think that we should get, uh, I'm going to go and tell McConnell and Rich, I'm going to be like, listen, 
these spiders said that we need to get a special raw and they said uh where's it at i don't know like I'm not, I mean, is not, it in but, another fucking forest or where? Where I is it? I don't know where it is. Probably in the forest somewhere else. I don't. I can't find out where a rock is. How you, what do you think I have? What like did a, they tell? Oh my god! I didn't ask what did where they, it is. Uh, why would I ask where the rock is? Because we're, they didn't. Then they tell because, you how to go oh, get it. Uh. uh shit. If they want it, surely they must have told no, you where to get it. Give, give me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let me go back. Talk to the spider again. Um, where, where's the rock? Where, where's it? How, point me in the direction of the rock. I, I'll, I'll help you get the rock. Get ready. Follow us. We will lead you. Okay. Seems like they're willing to join your party temporarily. Okay, great. What they say? Um, uh, they, they said that they're gonna help us, and the spiders are our friends now. So what? we have to go with them. That's right. Uh, yes, the spiders are on our side. And I go and I tell Rich the same thing. Rich, guess what? I talked to the spiders, and the spiders are going to lead us to a magic rock, and they're our friends now. Spidey friends. All right, sounds good. Okay. Uh, can we ride the spiders? It does not seem like they are big enough, fortunately. Unfortunately. Okay. All right. Can they ride us? <laughs> They could, oh. uh, if they if they if they truly wanted to. Yes, I would. I would say the spider. Um, lead the way. All right. These uh, the other uh, the Fey with you uh, seems to be quite confused and also a little bit curious as to what's going on, and uh, seems like uh, she wants to investigate uh, this uh, entire fiasco as well. So it seems like she will go with you as well. You guys all ready to proceed deeper into the forest? Oh, should I'm we, ready. We, yeah, but before we, we go... Heal or rest or something? Yeah, can, are, we, are we allowed to do that or... Yeah, we... you can You can certainly take a short rest if you'd like. You guys each have I'll one hit die rest. left. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, can I roll my uh, my hit dice now? That is correct. You can do it once. Okay, I'm rolling it now. And I got big. a 12. That's big. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, Asmin, you get... From a 12 plus 3 to a fit plus 15 HP. Uh, McConnell, uh, you go up uh, plus 11. And uh, Rich, you get plus 7. So that's uh, those are pretty good. Uh, you guys are looking a lot more healthy. Also, uh, right, now, right now, I believe it lasts for an hour. Could I, uh, could I throw on the old armor of Agatha? You can definitely uh, get, that, uh, get that ready to go. As um, we get ready to leave... Also, I want to, uh, I want to, I want to look at the body that Rich is trying to drag along. Uh, I say, maybe, maybe we should just leave that here with the other body. Yeah. Uh, I, think, um, I, I think you're probably taking it enough. You, yeah. You're I, taking it enough places. Uh, I, I, look, McConnell, Timmy, we made a mistake and his memory. No, 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 no. Don't say we made a mistake. Okay. Don't ever say we made the fucking mistake. He made the mistake, okay? Asman made the mistake, and now you're carrying on the mistake by doing whatever you're fucking doing with this guy's dead body. I'm what? just, I, I gotta carry that weight. When did you know? I make a mistake? By killing and de fucking decapitating him, dumbass. How is it a mistake? Like, he not, he's not hitting us anymore. He done. He's done. Like, you know how much money I made? You weren't listening to the guy whose leg you fucking cut off. They weren't doing anything wrong. Uh, he got he got two legs. No, he's got one leg now. Because you cut <laughs> one off. <laughs> That's yeah. <laughs> Never, that is how it would go, right? Because it would be two and then one. It'd make it a little bit easy for me That's to drag him around. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, what? That's a different guy, Rich. That's a different guy. Here, let's go with the whoa, spider. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, Rich, you want to carry? You want to? You want to carry around a, a dead body? You're gonna do that. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna but do that. it doesn't. It's starting to get smell bad. It, it smells before, bad, dude. Be, before soon, it's gonna smell worse than I do. Um, it's not good. Look, just let me drag it around a little bit longer, and so until I can have enough time to give him a proper burial. 
Is that okay? Where where are you wanting to bury him? I mean, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna like I, I'm gonna get a feel for you know I'm still getting to know the guy. Some people want their their ashes scattered across the ocean. Some really? So tell tell me something about Timmy then. Tell Timmy? me something about him. I'll, yeah. I'll tell I can um, tell you something about him. He got his ass beat like a bitch <laughs> by me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> are you done? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Are you? I'm ready Don't to go with the spiders. Fucking spider friends or whatever the hell they are. Okay. I'm like, yo, you guys are way cooler than them, man. Rich, I feel like I feel like I'm a spider now. You're 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 on you're on thin ice, dude. I'm not I'm not gonna tolerate this much longer. Um, how long it, does the short rest take in total? Uh, it's a usually you rest for an hour. Uh, during the time you're just kind of chilling. Um. Okay. So as as the guys are making fun of me i'm reminded of how alone i truly am in the world i feel my heart race and fall over and over and over again anxiety sweeps over me pain becomes me and it is in that moment that i remember the face of the only creature that ever loved me even if only for a short time my baby my boy Miz shit. As I, as I remember my boy, as I remember the pain that he felt as my very friends tried to plot his demise, I feel rumblings inside of me, a reconstruction of such power as I begin to find a familiar. All right. So as you go through the ritual, right, an hour long, a bit of meditation, communing with the spirits, lighting a small fire and all kinds of stuff, you can feel that soul. You remember very vividly that you tried to save its life by throwing in that gem. It coalesced into something before releasing its spirit. And it seems like its spirit has not gotten too far. You burn 10 gold as an offering uh, to your patron. And you can see slowly forming some dark energies start to coalesce. And very, 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 very surely, you can smell the unmistakable stench of living shit. And Miss Shit is reborn. That's, that, that's your homie. That, that's Miss Shit. Welcome back, my boy. Welcome back. What the? What the fuck? All right, and then I notice. I notice. I look behind me. And I see Miz shit. And I go up to it. And I'm gonna uh, attack it. What? I'm gonna cast Smite. <laughs> I guess you can you can definitely roll an attack against uh Miz shit if you if you would like. Go ahead, McCall. Rich, what the hell is this? Leave Misha alone, bro. Get, why get have you Why have you boy. done this? What What have you done? I jump in front of Miz shit and try to defend my my, my son. Yeah, uh, no. definitely. Uh, McConnell can make an attack if you'd like. Well, I'm about okay. I'm about to. I go to attack. I'm about to, and then Asmin. He... I, I I go to attack. Oh. I go to attack Miss Shit. Okay, uh, I'm not look, doing it. I'm not doing it, by the way. I, I was about to, but I'm not, okay? I look right at him. I look directly at him, and I do savage swing. Can I roll? <laughs> you can definitely make a savage swing if you would like. Do, do I get an attack of opportunity? Because is he expecting it, or do I just have to do a normal roll? Oh, yeah, just, uh, I guess you could recklessly attack if you would like. Um... It doesn't seem to be offering any resistance. It seems to be a uh, familiar that is uh, that is obeying Rich at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna reckless attack. <laughs> Jesus. I reckless attack. Oh no. Do I hit? That does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Oh no. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> okay, okay. So I, I go and I swing my axe. I take my axe and I undercut that bitch 
and as I'm cutting him up and the poop is coming out, I take the poop and I, I you look at the look at the angle that I'm at where it's like him in between me and Rich. I swing and I hit where the spider's going, getting close for me. I hit it and as I take this shit out of the sword, or the axe, sorry, it swings and it flies onto Rich because it's in that general direction. And it's like I'm painting a Jackson Pollock with Miz shit all over his fucking forehead. 23 damage. That, uh, that... So... <laughs> <laughs> Is that... You just it, it, the attack hits and uh, it, you, it does not uh, have enough HP to uh, to tank that. It uh, instantly it just makes a small squeaking noise uh, as uh, very uh, very helpless as your uh, your great axe just cleaves through it. It sprays uh, everywhere, but instead of leaving a course behind, you just all of a sudden this shit just gets just sprayed everywhere. Rich is having an even worse day, uh, having witnessed this familiar just uh, one shot uh, by his party member. Uh, but you notice that it's, this is this has never actually happened in a game I've ever played. Uh, the <laughs> it uh the you can see that the mass bubbles away and just uh disappears. Uh Rich, you can see that its physical form has been obliterated right in front of your eyes. But you are sure that uh Mishit is not truly dead. Mishit's soul has been bound to you as a familiar. Unfortunately, you would need to redo the ritual to bring it back to existence, but at least <laughs> he burned 10 gold for that. <laughs> he just burned it. <laughs> <laughs> Time Elf is next to you guys, uh, uh, looking uh, looking at you, and says to yourself, You know, we guard the time as it flows through this forest. Some even say that we guard uh, because the wild and the flow of time are sacred themselves. And in all the time here, I have never seen any such, how do I say this, as the people would. Absolute horseshit. Are you guys gonna help us, like, figure yeah. out this horse thing or what? Listen, we, we, would it be good here? Well, it's here's the my, deal. It's not we, my fault. We I mean, knew look. that 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 being of shit from an earlier experience, and we had to put it down. So I we said, apologize trust for that. me, you don't want you don't want to have to do yeah, with that. You don't, yeah, and you don't I, want I that look problem. back. I say, Rick, y'all ready, Matt? Well, are you ready? Yeah, bro? are you ready, Rich? Like, yeah. like, what the hell what are you, you doing, doing man? man? Quit playing games. Let's go. Let's you know. Come on, man. Where we? What are we going? Where are we going here? I, I, I pick up the corpse and I start following them. All right, so you, you pick up Timmy, uh, put him on your back, and you, you start walking uh, forward into the forest. All right. So as you narrate, uh, or sorry, as you walk, I'll narrate just kind of what happened in the interest of time. Right. The, you're walking in and you're noticing that true to all of the words, uh, the spiders were definitely not lying. Uh, the forest itself is definitely getting more and more dark. That same corruption you guys saw when you had left uh, those bandits to, to fight these uh, the spider monstrosity, that same issues are getting worse and worse and worse. Soon, the those words about the forest turning black, monochrome, still half alive, half dead, start to really resonate with you. The spiders will walk in front of you, and one will always stay with you to kind of move out, but sometimes they will just perk up in attention, hiss, and leap into the, uh, into the, into the canopy. And you'll notice another larger insect or some other larger type of beast run away from you as the, uh, as the spiders try to attack it. It seems like there are a lot of dangerous things in this forest, but these spiders are chasing them away, and as they do so, are calling for some of their own to reinforce your party. Of course, it's you could have uh, come here, you know, there may have been another four adventurers or four people that have been willing to help you get here. But, you know, a whole bunch of spider entourage, you know, it's pretty cool. But eventually, the spiders say, or at least gesture to you, that they're going to they're gonna hand back. They will guard you and they will guard the area, but they cannot go any further because some true evil has taken root in this area. And now we'll go to the next map. Oh. oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god. What is that? What is this? Each time you take a step on the ground, 
it sinks below your feet just a little bit. Now, you know this is dirt, but it almost feels like you're stepping on flesh. The grass Jeez. is still barely green, like as if it's mixed like a, a child painting with watercolor, mixing all kinds of colors together with just a little bit more green. It looks dirty, unhealthy, but still alive. And you can see with every step, it slowly tries to wrap around your shoes before you take a step back and it just kind of uh, falls back as if they're still alive. The trees hang over you, dark and dreary with green and black leaves. It's very difficult to see here because of the thickness of the canopy. But you know that your spider bros, they have your back, but they can only keep creatures out. You have this feeling, this deep sinking feeling that just like when you had first approached that, uh, that monstrosity that you fought last session, just like you felt like you were being watched, you feel like you're being watched again. But this time, it's not coming from anywhere in particular. It feels like the forest itself is watching you, almost like you're walking into the belly of a beast. And now we'll go into exploration mode. Let's see how you guys traverse this map. Okay. Alright guys, I, th I say we go to the bottom at first, and I apologize. Uh, the bottom I, of what? I, I want to I wanna apologize to Rich. I, uh, I say, Rich, I, I, I know that, you know, you cared a lot about him. And now that I think about it, I really think that killing him was a really shitty thing for me to do. Rich, do you have a response? Hi, yeah, I say, I say, dude, just shut up and stop shitting around. Yeah. All right. I, I wouldn't do that because if I did, you'd try to resurrect it as another son. Let's go down to the bottom. Wait, 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 this is weird, dude. This is what weird. Happened? This is weird. I don't feel good. Okay. 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 Is there, all right. All right. Well, is there? Do I have like a? The, can I? Can I? You sense evil? <sighs> I mean, bro, there's got to be evil in here. Look at there's it. This is got to be okay. It's an evil forest. Like I can uh, sense evil. I don't even have to spell. I rolled a twenty. It's evil. <laughs> what's the? It's the divine sense, right? That is correct. Can I do it? Yes. I'll check your character sheet really fast to see how many okay. charges you have left. You have two okay. more charges left for the day. Yes, do it now. Oh my God. Perfect. You let your senses reach out and definitely, immediately, you can sense some baked in evil. Just, it smells a lot worse than Rishid by orders and orders of magnitude. Your sense spreads out. Now, far to this side, I'll, I'll ping a for you in the direction. Just continuing up down this way, you can feel something decidedly undead in this forest. You can't tell what it is. Divine Sense won't give you that information. But there is something extremely odd with that particular area. You understand now very clearly why the spiders refuse to come in. There's something here they can't quite deal with. All right, I, uh... I, I sense all that, okay? And I, I turn to Asmin and Rich and I, I convey the information that I was just given and that if we travel in uh, that direction, and I point my finger towards the direction you ping, okay? If we travel in that direction, we're gonna run into something we probably don't wanna run into. And I, I really, really wanna caution us to not go that way until we know what the hell this place is. What if he has the rock? I mean, yeah. What if he doesn't? Maybe he has another rock. You want to take that risk? Yep. yep. You're sure? Yep. Could be two rocks. Okay, can I, can I, like, you, well, go ahead. can I, can I, uh, 
do I have anything that will illuminate the area at all with like holy light or anything? Yeah, you realize that uh, my my familiar midship would have been able to scout the entire forest for us and would have been able to recon and go invisible and tell us everything that was in the forest and allow us to not be in harm's way, right? Why are you telling me that? I didn't kill it. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't kill it either. No, I you didn't. definitely did. You hit it for huge damn. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. I did. That was crazy. I I did so much damage on that guy. That was nuts, man. Okay, so as I, a, I really can I do a uh, can I do an uh, a a, uh, a investigation check just to see what's going on here to see if there's oh, anything that I can. Do do you want to like perceive uh generally speaking around you like you just try to do a general search uh yeah either just like a general investigation search or a general arcana search try to figure yeah. out you know just give me uh just give me perception Ooh. Yeah, my rolls are way lower with priscilla here Ooh. asmin let's move back a little bit i don't want to run into anything okay before we're ready. Both minus one to okay. 11. so you see a couple of things uh, from where you are there is a path through the forest, but the ground itself is kind of gnarled a little bit. Some grass growing taller than others, then dying, others taking its place. It's very hard to make out the path, but there is a fork in the road right here. You can kind of see that one kind of gets blocked off by a bunch of trees. One goes up, the other goes down. You're not quite sure exactly what lies in, but you can tell that those, the way that the grass was kind of grasping at your feet as you walked in, there may be some hazards as you walk in, but you can't sense anything moving in the area, at least within, say, 40, 50 feet. I'll ask Rich. I turn back after he does the uh, the check. Rich, what do you what do you know? I tell him everything. All right, we got full a uh, full disclosure of information. Okay. Okay, so Asmin, I, I go over here. Why are you, Asmin? 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 I look. I, is there is there anything you can do? Uh. You, surely you have some hunter tracker skills from uh, your time as a barbarian overlord god. All right, all right, fine, fine, fine. Uh, I will do a um. Uh, uh can I do a percept? Uh, yes, you can actually give me both perception or survival. Okay, um, I'm gonna do survival because that sounds way cooler. Oh, yeah. Hey. Okay. Mm -hmm. 17 plus 2 to a 19. So remember, survival gives you a lot of information of how to kind of take care of yourself in these uh, very dangerous wilds. Now, you notice a couple things. One, looking above you, you see some scores deep, like almost like a scythe having cut out some stuff on these trees. And it immediately reminds you of that big ass insect you saw back in that first session that we played. It has been able to move here. Fortunately, those spiders may have helped driven it off. But it seems like there is gonna be no really big terrifying uh, insect that's gonna be coming for you at the moment. The second thing that you realize is that some of these trees have been gnarled as well. And you can sense that the trees and the plants themselves may hinder your progress here. You have a feeling that down here, there is these small pustules in some of these plants. It looks odd and unhealthy to you. It may burst out into some kind of pollen trap. So you know that there's something over here. In terms of what's happening above here, you can tell that some of these vines may be alive. You need to navigate very carefully, but it seems like nothing too dangerous uh, either way. You just need to be careful and make sure nothing gets the drop on you. But if you move carefully and as a group, if you and with your axe, of course, you're able to cut a lot of things that show up. You may be able to make this. I go over here and I say, I say, Rich, I think that you're a liar. Why? What happened? You said that there was a fork here. There's no fork. Huh? 
Oh my god. I I literally scream as loud as I can. As what? loud as I can. I scream and I say, please, if there is a beast, a monster, anything in this forest, beat the shit out of me, please. And put put me out of my put me down. I cannot take I cannot take it anymore. You let out a cry of anguish, and you hear a murder of crows uh, fly in the distance uh, in response to your voice. But nothing else seems to move. Oh, it seems like God. you actually are alone here. I'm gonna move up here <sighs> in my life. life. I I'm gonna ask y'all. I'm gonna be like, Yo, "Oh, guys, come on, let's go down this way. I, I know, I know the way." Why? What you? What you sense? What you? What? What kind of information uh, so did you basically, glean? So uh, basically, there's some shit. Like, I feel like if we go down below there, like if you look at that plant, you see that blue shit on those plants? Yeah, I see it. When you ever seen a blue plant? Never. Besides a blueberry and a blue what? flower and other blue plants, but besides that, you never seen one. What about roses? One. That's a uh, red. There are blue roses. No, they're not. Yes, sir. Yeah, there are. That's a magic spell to do that. That's not real. I think all flowers could be magic. Let's go this way. All right. I think we should... Boys, I think we should go slow. Well, right, let me go first. Okay, I don't want you guys the, to get what hurt. What about the other people? What about, what about the what? corpse and the, and the lady? The Can corpse just... is just attached to me. Oh god. Yeah, we'll have it follow you. And uh, the lady is following you around. She is nursing uh, some of the wounds that she sustained in that previous encounter. Oh shit. I didn't All know right. she... Fuck. All right, let's go this way. So we're going to go a little bit forward here. We're going to look around. Just, just as a reminder, this is the direction where I... I, I just yeah. uh, stop right there. But McConnell, uh, just stop for now. But McConnell, go ahead and complete your, uh, complete your thought. Asmin. Yes. This is the direction that I literally remember. Remember three minutes ago, where when I told you that I sensed a really bad thing over in this direction, and you said, "Yes, we should go in this direction." I said, "We shouldn't do that because it's the bad direction." Is this it? And I pointed the wrong. I don't know. I just think this. I, I there's something bad over here, man. Can I, I still talk to animals? We should have gone the other way. Can, my, ah. my, is my character still able to talk to animals right now? Uh, unfortunately not. But you do notice that something else has responded to your presence. The vines from underneath you snap up suddenly, wrap around your leg and your arms, and they've grabbed you. You take 1d4 damage, which I will just straight up roll oh in, just out in public, just no modifiers. God. And that is a four. Uh, you take a four. Uh, you take four damage. It's uh, it is it's grabbing you. It's holding you back. Now I'm going to need you uh, to make a either a, yeah, just make a strength check. How about that? Okay, that's my favorite kind of. It's my favorite kind of. Check. I told you to fucking slow down. It's my didn't favorite I? kind of check. Okay. As the vines wrap around, you can feel it singeing your flesh with some kind of odd poisonous energy. Just with the might of a bear, just rip it from its roots, tear it off you, throw it off to the side. It's still even uprooted, rides on the ground almost like a snake for slowing down and finally stopping. It took a little bit of damage, but it seems like there may be other things in this forest similar. If you go very slowly, uh, you may be able to spot some other more, but this, this definitely has some hazards. It's as if whatever was back there trying to keep you out but you can continue to push forward uh you know i was thinking uh um i have been leading this party for a long time yeah and i feel like i want to give somebody else the chance to go first well guess and what so, mcconnell why don't no, you go ahead i'm not going first you know why what, what, you're, what? you're supposed to be the you you you're the one that told us about the fucking flowers dude you're the one that told us this shit's dangerous. Why are you? Uh, why are you the one that's rushing into the goddamn shit and getting I'm hurt not, by the goddamn vines? I'm not, Shouldn't what? you be the one that's aware of the goddamn vines and slow down a little bit? If I go first, I'm gonna fucking run head head headlong into a goddamn rose and 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 blow up. You gotta you gotta slow down. Okay, all right. I'm gonna. Hey, okay, remember, Mrs. Daria, you gotta slow down. Uh, 
Damn it, you didn't have to remember me that about that. Why you have to remember me about that, man? Fuck. What? Never mind. All right, I'll take one step up and I'll I'll watch my step. And I'll what? say y'all gotta follow follow exactly with me. Okay. Exactly with me. Okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look over. I'm gonna inspect on this one here. Is there anything bad here? Is there anything go bad? Ahead. All right, all right, go all ahead right. and give me a perception check with advantage. Okay. All right. Let me percept. Give me a second. I see everything. Yeah. Do it seems pretty safe up up this way. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. All right. Which we way? Go a little bit over more like this. Okay. And what the fuck, dude? Look at that. Look at that purple. <gasps> shit, bro. No, what chill, 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 what chill, chill. What the fuck chill. is it's that? Not, what the it, fuck is that? It, it could be a rock. It could be a special rock. That ain't no rock. Can I That's not a check rock. It? Can I arcana check it? You can take an arcana check. In fact, if you guys are going to work together. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, 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 no. There you go. That is a 20 plus 4 to a 24. Uh, this is the most that you're going to be able to know about that thing. You glance uh, forth from the distance, kind of looking past uh, the, the trees and the darkness that you can see this, what very clearly is just like that spike that was inside that other beast that had the gem on top of it. This is an almost exact replica. In fact, you would go as far to say it for sure is. It's deeply embedded into the ground and around it, the ground has liquefied and turned into this black muck. It's rippling as if it's almost alive almost like quicksand. And from this spike, it's releasing this fog, this magical glowing red, violet, pinkish fog that just spreads over the ground, almost like a, it's almost like it's covering and protecting it. That area looks like it is pure, unadulterated buck show. But that is most certainly what you're here for. It matches all the descriptions. It's it is the same rock, just like you were hearing from that spiders, but this one seems to be activated and used in a slightly different way. Okay, Instead so, of corrupting. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, there is a there's a butt plug and the gems on the top, but deep in the ground. Yeah, and yeah, the spike is is implanted in the ground. All right. When I took the gem off of the other spike, did I have to twist it, or could could it could it be knocked off with force? You did have to twist it. Okay. Um, well, it'd be great if I had a familiar that could go over there and, and do that. I um, would have actually made this encounter pr uh, pretty uh, pretty smooth. Um, okay, I'm gonna walk right up to it. Uh, and walk up to it with the corpse. I'm gonna get, uh, uh geez, there we go. I'm gonna get right up, uh, like up to where the purple the purple is. So I'll follow you him, right uh, here. Okay. Just I'll move you right back there. Okay. Could you give me a dexterity save, please? Ooh. Oh, Jesus. A dex save? Yeah, sure thing. Uh oh. You can see other vines just just reach out uh, from the underbrush, and these ones grab you. These are different than the ones that you saw. Asmin uh, face tank. They wrap around you, and I'll roll this one in the open too because there's no modifiers. Oh. Take five damage as well, and these ones have held you back, and you are restrained from uh, for the round. Uh, the other two definitely see this, and uh, the uh, your companion immediately comes up to you and says, "Do you need help getting out? Are you okay?" Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a little bit of help getting out, but uh, I've been in situations like this before. I'm not really too concerned. In fact, I'm somewhat enjoying it. Um, now, out of curiosity, would I be able to throw the corpse into the magic from here? I don't think you have enough strength to do that. Okay. But with some teamwork, maybe you guys could do something. I'm not helping. Uh, McConnell, look, if, I'm not if, helping you do that. That is fucked. That's I mean, fucked. We I'm not need, doing that. We need to get to this gem. We need to see what it's going to do to flesh. That's nice. You better ask somebody else because I'm not doing that. 
Whoa. It, it, what? I want to throw this body into that magic to see what it does to flesh. <laughs> cool. All right. You want me to do it? Yeah. All right. Can I do an acrobatics check? Uh, you can just pick it up and give me an athletics if you'd like. Okay. Here we go. Oh my god. This is a bad idea. This is a horrible idea. Yeeted. You shouldn't Yeeted. do this. That's a 22. What's the worst thing that could happen? That's a 22. I don't know. Okay. I don't know, Riku. What is the worst thing that could happen? Yeah, the, um... <laughs> you pick up the, um... You pick up the, the corpse without a head. You carry it as far as you can, uh, right up to the side of that uh, that creeping corruption where it became quicksand. And with the, just with the power of someone just doing a shot put, you just turn around and you just hurl the body uh, into uh, the uh, into the dark quicksand. It starts to sink in uh, right next to it. So we'll say that you threw him right from here. Okay. So you just just lug it with the with the strength of a wild barbarian. It's underneath uh, that that weird magical fog, and it starts to sink uh, into uh, the pit. And um, as it goes through, uh, first it's like chest uh, goes, then its uh, left hand goes, until so only you see its right hand remain. And at the last moment, you see it give a thumbs up sign before it sinks into the darkness. Wait, what? Timmy just gave us a thumbs up? Yes. That's uh, what I did. Oh, that's that a nice thing to say. Wow. That's a good guy. But nobody's concerned about the dead body that just gave a thumbs up as you threw it into the magical fog? Uh, what? What do you mean? Oh, 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 fuck. So as, you, as you're doing that, the, um, uh, your companion has summoned uh, this blade of ethereal energy and is helping cutting through the vines. Now you notice, uh, Rich, you had used armor of Agathis, which means as the vine reached out and attacked you, the cold bit into it, making some of it brittle, making it a lot easier for her to just slowly cut you free. It'll take a full round, but you're back on your feet. Okay. Why don't we ask her what the f- do you know what this is? Like, what is this? Ask her. Uh, she stares at it and be like, I have absolutely no idea, but whatever that is, we need to get that back and out of there because this is not good news. Uh, okay. Um, I try to put like one foot in the quicksand. I go like maybe right uh, here. Careful. Maybe, maybe not just one foot. Uh, just just scared. Just, just a toe. Just a toe. A toe. And I I go to see what it's like and just to just to see, like what it's gonna do to me. All like right. A lasso or some shit. So you no. put your uh, your foot in, and you step on something, something round uh, and rock-like. You just kick it up with your foot a little bit, so it kind of just comes out of it, and you notice a very corroded skull. Seems like someone died here. And this is not where uh, that uh, where you threw that body. This is right at the at the castle. But it seems like there's some other things that are crunchy. Someone died here, and it was definitely because of this muck. <laughs> what an and idiot. I take another step. No, stop. All right, so right into that, when you take that uh, that first step in. Yeah. And I'll roll these ones in the open just because they're nice and fun. All right, take another one damage. It seems like it's starting to wrap around you, making it hard to move. Every step that you take, it seems like you're able to do it, and it seems like you're able to, uh, uh, to tank this damage. You can move five feet, suffer some of the effects, and you only are five, ten, or I guess five and just ten feet away uh, from that spike if you'd like to kind of grab it out. Okay. You feeling lucky? Yeah, also, uh, um, I, I yeah. shout out to Asmin. You got to yeah. twist it. And I explain to him, like, how I got the gem off of the other one. So he knows what to do when he gets there. I've stolen plenty of rocks before. You don't need to tell me. All right, I, I want to go ahead. I want to do another one. I'm going to take another. Should I time myself or something like that? Should like, do I we mean, use, maybe like, you could have if you weren't fucking so that's far what, away. That's what I said. I, I said, uh, yo, should we get like a lasso kind of thing going? And you were you're like, no, dude. Hey, okay, okay. while he's while he's walking in there, can I check my uh, can I check in my pockets for the demonic essence and see if it's doing anything? Certainly. 
You have the demonic essence on you. You pull it out, and it is pulsing. Yeah. Remember, it used to flicker almost like a material flame, like a little bit of candle. It seems like it's grown a little bit brighter, and it is what, definitely what is, this, what is this? What is this? What is this demonic? Is that the demon? That's semen? the demon semen. It's the demon the semen. Yeah. You, oh, you still have your demon semen. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What the fuck am I supposed to do with so, it though? It's it's glowing. I I think that here's the strategy. Okay, is that. Um, I think that McConnell should heal me, or I should use a potion, and I will just fucking go get the rock, man. Heal you? I, what do you What do you mean heal you? Well, so I don't die. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. Oh, I I I know that. Big guy. All right, Lander. I uh. Okay. All right. I uh, I use one of my I use my last health potion. All right. Yeah, I want to use my health potion before I do this. Okay. So as you are, so this is before you take a uh, a a step further. You're just going to heal before everything goes uh, for it, right? Yes. All right. So go ahead and um, I can roll this one for you if you'd like. Okay. It's a two d four. Okay. All right. Oh. That's well, uh, awfully unlucky. Um, it's uh, you get two ones plus two. You regain four HP. That's crazy! Wow. That's amazing. All right, so I'll take another step. All right. With that next step, you feel the muck wrapping around you. Now it's like about, it's like it's definitely well above your knees. You take a little bit more damage. Oh my you take, you take, you take three damage, but you're still hanging in there. If you move five feet more, right to where you threw that body who's now sunk deep underneath, you should be able to reach over and get that spike back. Okay. I reach my foot in through the muck, and I'm trying to just get around in my foot. Maybe I'm thinking maybe step on Tim and use him a little bit, make it a little bit easier for me. And I try to find my footing on, on Timmy's corpse to step on it to where I can reach the rock. As metal as yeah, fuck. I, I, I walk over there. I do it. Perfect. And here we go. Mm. Take another four damage. It's what now. Are these walls, dude? It's now up to you. It's now up to your waist. Uh, you are you're definitely feeling the burn, but you're able to reach forward. And uh, what would you like to do? Would you like to uh, take the jammer? Are you gonna try to remove the entire spike? How are you thinking about it? Uh, what is what is what do you mean the whole spike? Is the spike valuable? Uh, it looks pretty cool. I get it. All right. You don't need to make a strength check just because you're already super buff and your minimum would, be, would have been enough. Yes. You just pull it out with a, a, a sudden burst and instantly uh, you can feel it's almost like the air had suddenly gone uh, from as thick as butter uh, to something a lot more fluid like water. It feels like the force is taking a deep breath again. You're still stuck. In the in this sludge, you take another bit of damage. You take one more damage, and it seems like you need to get out of this pit as fast as you can while you still have HP. I get I I turn back around. I go back to here. Perfect. Wait, is, Tim, is Timmy is Timmy uh? He's is, gone. He's gone. Like, did he just get completely evaporated? Asmin, you did step on something, and uh, for that second step, you're gonna take another four damage. You're almost there. You just need to do this. Uh, you need to take one more bit of damage. It seems like you'll survive. Uh, you did step on something uh, deep in, uh, in in that pit. It uh, it definitely wasn't fully dissolved. Okay. All right. All right, and you have one more step to make. All right, I'll take one last step. Here we go. Okay. You take another three damage. You're down at ten. Uh, you just face tanked uh, the entire um, a bit of sludge, and you're able to uh, take your last step out of the pit, and you are safe. Man, I really wish we had a healer, man. Like, yep. Oh my god, we need to get a healer, man. I really, I wish just somebody could do like a healing spell or just something, dude. Yep. Like. We that gotta would, get a healer somewhere. That maybe, would maybe be, when we go back to town, we can 
ask around. Yeah, like that would be crazy. And so I show them. Um, so w they only want the crystal, right? By the way, you didn't happen to get anything from the, that bandit camp back there, did you? What do you mean? Well, I, I don't know if there was anything back there. I mean, was there anything worth value back there? or? Uh, I mean, like, it depends on what you mean by value. Well, I mean, is there anything that you would want to let us know about? or? Well, you know? I don't know. I mean, it depends on what you want to know about. Well, if there's anything good, you know, anything good. Well, it depends on what you think is good. Well, if there's anything of value, you know, that could be of use to the party. Everybody has different ideas of value. Okay. Well, I'm not saying that I don't have it. I just say I'm just trying to get Well, don't idea. have what? Cause you're, you're saying you not, don't have what? Well, no, because I, I, I'm just saying... What are you saying that, you don't have? Well, because I, I don't Because you say you don't have anything, then what do you... No, well, I didn't say I don't have? have anything, but I didn't say I don't have something either. What do you got in your pockets, though? Well, well I don't know. Like, I'd I, like to I, make a perception check. Uh, are you trying to look for something that's on him? You're trying to see if he's yeah, lying? Yeah, I just want to see if his pockets are bulging a little bit, you know, yeah. more than usual. Go ahead, make a perception check. Yeah, he's carrying this entire sack on his back. Uh, it's it's uh, he's filled with all kinds of nonsense. He's got the like, potions. He's got uh, these uh, these potion stones. He's got all kinds of knickknacks. He definitely didn't walk in uh, with any of that. He's uh, he's very clearly uh, looted a whole bunch of stuff. But it seems like even he doesn't really know uh, the full extent of uh, value. So he wasn't lying. Yeah, so, see, I, I I don't know what any of this stuff is. I don't even know. How really, can I take a look though? About what? At literally everything you got in your backpack right there. That I see, uh, I see that you have. As right he's there. looking uh, at Asmin, uh, if I could look at that stone, please, I can actually figure out what that magic is used for and potentially make us even more powerful. Yeah, so and, here's uh, what's going to happen, party. Asmin. You're going to give Rich the stone and the thing you just got, and you're going to give me that big fucking sack that you got on uh, on your back there. Oh, man. And, uh, we're going to look through that real quick while you're, while you're recovering from your clear injuries because obviously you would be far too weak to challenge me in the state you are right now i mean with what with just wading into the fucking black pit of death i have a really interesting idea uh it, asmin has the spike as well right asmin was carrying the uh you handed it off to him right when um he wanted to show it to the spider so he would still have that yes yeah uh asmin give me the spike and the gem i actually have a i have an idea uh -huh. well, well, wait a minute. Like, which one did? Re all right, all right, all right. Fine. I yeah, thank it. you. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, so uh, I'll let I McConnell look in the bag too. Also, Riku. Yeah. Um, I was from, from, from a distance. From a distance, so he can't reach in there and get anything. But sorry, uh, sorry, Rich. Uh, could you repeat that? Yeah, Timmy, Timmy's one hundred percent gone. He's like evaporated. He's a. Uh, he's in that pit. Uh, underneath uh, that thing, it's, which is starting to solidify again. You notice that the uh, forest around you uh, is seeming to rapidly recover uh, some kind of energy. It's not like going to suddenly uh, come back into its uh, its former glory, but it seems considerably less sinister. And that pressing feeling that you're being watched from all angles is starting to go away. It seems like things are going to be looking a lot better for this forest with time. And your friend here is looking a lot more relieved, but is concerned about that uh, spike that has just been pulled out. Well, now that I have both spikes and I also have both of the gems, right? I'm going to take the gem that was just on the spike that was in the ground that was doing all the bad shit, and I'm going to put it on top of the other spike and see what happens. Interesting. You, with a quick unscrew, you remove it and you screw it back on. It's almost like it's plug and play. Interestingly enough, that combined that combined effect seems exactly the same as it was in terms of how it felt in your hand and how the magic was coursing through it. It feels exactly the same as it was when it was pulled out of that beast. It seems like the gem is a specialized type of battery, and the spike itself is responsible for transforming it into a different type of spell that's ongoing and latched onto its target. Yeah, that's what I thought. So basically, yeah, so the spikes are designed to be different spells and the gems are designed to, like you said, to just be the fuel. Uh, and it seems like both of the gems that I have right now are of equal power. That's correct. 
Okay. That's okay, a good cool. deduction. That's a very good experimenting. DMs okay. love to see it. All okay. right. The uh, your companion is looking at you. Uh, it, there's, of course, we'll, uh, Asma McConnell will, will resolve your conflict really soon. And she says, it seems like something is getting a lot better here. But we need to talk more about these spikes because these are not natural. And it seems like she's going to have you as her point of contact on that. But now we'll swap the camera back to Asmund McConnell. Uh, so you're in the middle of talking about that sack. So what's happening with that? Yeah, so wow. what, what do I see in the sack? So you're, you're opening the sack and you're looking directly in. It's a swirling darkness, not like a deep, like evil type of darkness. It feels like you're gazing into a pitch black, dark room. Now, you don't, you, you've heard a little bit about various type of items. Uh, the idea of a bag of holding, a uh, handy sack of holding, these are very common knowledge. That's why we didn't really need to do any more. Asmund got a three on his Arcana check, which means he doesn't actually know much about this, but I'll give you a chance to make an Arcana check if you would like. Okay. Big. Okay, 19. So, you know all the public knowledge uh, that's just, because this is a very famous item. It's a handy sack of, uh, of holding. You can store a whole bunch of loot inside. Now, looking deep into the darkness, right? This is an extra dimensional space. All kinds of things could be uh, stored uh, in there. The way you use it is that you put something in, you let the darkness swallow it, you put your hand out, it's not there anymore. And to get something back, you need to think about what it is, put your hand in and pull it back out. Probably different than a lot of other type of devices, but it is very, very useful. And this is considered like the, the Rolls Royce of Loot Goblin gear. It's an extremely rare item, and you can tell that this one is special. It's almost like it's a, like a glorious or resplendent uh, sack. This is, ex this is an extremely valuable piece of magical work. Okay. Uh, I say, oh, I, say I, 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 I get it. So I see that the bag is special, but I don't know what he put in the bag, and I, I can't think about that because I don't know what's in it. I tell him that I, uh, um, I, I, uh, didn't, uh, th th so the bag, it's, it's, it's not what you think it is, number one. Yes, it is. Nope. This is a big fucking bag. This is a big bag. Big, big, big bag. Huge. Enormous. What is in this bag? You tell me right now. Uh, this I've is a big been, sack. I've just been collecting, like, rocks and sticks no you and... haven't no you haven't I, i've been with oh, you the entire not... time you you have not been collecting rocks and sticks no i know because i was whenever you didn't see it we've been together the whole time the only time i didn't see you was when you went off before you talked to the spiders that's whenever i did it so you just <laughs> what Okay, he's uh, he's obviously lying. There's no way I, I don't know that he's lying. I think you you would. Can I do a persuasion? You can try to persuade him, but I think he he he's caught you red-handed. I think with this, with all all, right. he, he pieced together a very good case. I'll, I'll do I'll do a persuasion with disadvantage. That's fair. <laughs> it's a six. You can try to plead with him, but I guess uh, uh, oh. unless you have something special to say, McConnell, you can. Uh, yeah, you, you had to roll a you had to roll a twelve. And you didn't do that, so uh, yeah. Yep. He sets a DC if it's uh, if it's his character. I love All it. Right. All right, McConnell gets to see what's in it. Well, you got to tell me what's in it because I, I, if it's a uh, if it's a swirling thing, you got to tell me what okay. you put in it. Uh, there's a demonic essence. Uh, there's boots in it. There are pot stones. There's mystery potions. A small ruby, mystery gems, uh, venom sacks, an explorer's pack, a tiny jewel. And some of the herbs that I stole from the... I forgot where I stole those from, but it was somewhere. Okay. Let's... I'm going to go ahead and... Real quick, I'm going to think about everything that he's telling me. And I'm going to pull it out of the sack as he's tell, uh, telling me about each thing. And I'm going to divvy up the rewards to everybody. Okay? So he can't just, like, have it on his goddamn back the entire time. Whenever he starts pulling this stuff out, I say I was lying. I was, I, I was lying. I didn't mean I didn't have the stuff in there. It's not true. It's too late. 
It's too late. It's too late. I caught you. Yep. You are able to remove them a uh, one at a time uh, to, uh, uh, to kind of bring them uh, back into your hands. And I guess we can uh, uh, we can resolve that in terms. Of, so while you're you're getting that ready to kind of figure out how you're going to redivvy it, uh, Rich and uh, and your friend, uh, she is uh, she's, she's talking to you. So she seems very, very concerned and she she looks at you. You. I need to learn more about this and I'm getting the feeling that of us four here, we're not going to be enough. I know that there are people on this island that work with gems. Can you take me to one? People that work with the gems. We Do we know anyone besides the gem collector that worked with the gems? Uh, the gem collector definitely works with the gem. Uh, the uh, there was one on the boat, the one that summoned the demon. Uh, she's safe and sound. He didn't kill her, so yeah, she's yeah, technically yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ozzy himself also works uh, with gem, so you got at least two options. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, uh, totally. Yeah, you can come with us. Uh, we, we, I, I actually I know a guy, and uh, as as she's talking about that, I can't help but be distracted as I look into the pit to try to see if it's solidified enough and become safe enough for me to go in and try to see if Timmy is still alive and ready to serve as my undead servant. It seems like it's uh, solidified in that uh, that dark necrotic energy has dissipated from the area. It seems like it's safe enough to walk into. It's still pitch black, but it doesn't seem dangerous. I go in and I look for Timmy. All right. Uh, so I guess you will do that while um, uh, I'll just move you right where uh, he's buried and the the and then she uh, she approaches um asthma calls are dipping up this loot she doesn't really have quite of an idea of what's going on as you can tell she doesn't carry anything on her person she wants to take a little bit of a rest but you guys are obviously in a pretty bad spot and you guys do probably want to make camp somewhere and, and or get out of this forest what do you guys want to do oh does she tell t does she tell us that? Do I know that she wants to take a rest? Yeah, she specifically wants to she either wants to get out of the forest to have a couple more hours left in the day or we have to find a way to make camp in the forest. Uh, she's offering that to you because um, you guys are technically part of a party right now. Okay, sure. I'll uh well, Why don't we go talk to the spiders? We don't have them waiting around and then we go take a rest. Yeah, I'll put I'll put everything back in the bag and uh smart. we'll we'll do it whenever we we uh, we camp or whatever. Mhm. Mm but I'm, I'm, okay. I'm keeping the bag on me, though. So I think... Yeah, so just me and Asmund are doing that, and then does Rich find the thing? Oh, uh, Rich, you keep you keep digging in. Now, this has gotten really deep. You, you dig about a foot in. You can't quite uh, uh, do much. You dig a little bit more, and your hand grazes against another hand. It's, uh, it's held in in that thumbs up position, in that muck. The real body's far deeper in. Uh, and you notice that the hand is uh, starting to move a little bit. It's still holding uh, that thumbs up, but it's not rigor mortis, most definitely. And that's hidden from view. They can definitely see that you're digging in this pit. That's There's no stealth here, uh, but this is information that you have about that body. I grab I grab the arm and like uh, try to try to pull it out, uh, try to try to get him out. Awesome. Uh, give me a strength check, please. Hmm. Uh, well, let's save it's fine. I guess uh, for you, sure, Casey, you it's um, it's really, really slow. And you're not able to do this in a very fast motion. Uh, so the others are definitely are going to see, and uh, your new friend here is going to turn to you and be like, "Dude, what are you?" What are you doing? And specifically calling uh, attention uh, to uh, you lifting this out. It's 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 a very slow process. First, you can see an arm. Uh, you can feel it catch onto something, but the ground's relatively unsettled. It has just turned from this living muck into dirt. Uh, and then eventually, you can get its head over, and you're going to have to work really hard. It's going to be slow. It's going to be painful. And she's pointing at you and calling you out on that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh... Look, look, look uh, co-adventure, uh, it's stuck. And I try to pull it out, and uh, basically I explain that it's my duty to investigate magics as much as possible, and I must see the effects that the magics had on Timmy. 
as I continue to pull him out. She seems a little bit suspicious. Now you're able to get it uh, most of the way out. And of course, uh, it would have been able to breathe if it was living and if it had a head. Uh, but it's at a pretty nice spot. And you're able to kind of move it, kind of back off. You drop it in. Uh, she's seeming uh, pretty suspicious. She glances at it. She feels something is wrong. She walks up to you. She holds out her hand. Now, you can see the light swirl around it as a circle appears uh, at her feet and starts to spread out. Now, whoa, what? As it locks around you, you're gonna need to give me a charisma saving throw. Oh, fuck out, bitch! What's she doing? A charisma. She, does, mm -hmm. she does not like this. Mm hmm. That's wow, a 14, you though. Yeah, wow. I know. I'm charismatic as fuck. Yep, so you go up to a 14. So you can feel something is just digging into your into your skull, right? And you're starting to resist it. But it seems like by sheer force of will, it does not seem enough, just barely. And I'm, a, feel I'm, a, I'm a ratioer. I, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna count I, I'm gonna counter. I then am going to brain power her back with suggestion, and I, I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm I'm gonna be like, yo, like buzz off, chill the fuck out. All right, your spell save DC is thirteen. Uh, so can you give me a single sentence or two sentences uh, that you want to use in exchange? Chill out, bitch. <laughs> All right, so she has to make a wisdom saving throw. She does not make her save. Oh. <laughs> and she says, you know, you're right. We just met. In fact, we don't even know each other's name. You can see the magic, uh, the magic disassembles. Now that magic, as it was piercing, because you had failed that save, you realize that was a spell called Zone of Truth. If you had not been able uh, to deal with it, you would not be able to deliberately lie while under its effects. So that's uh, some quick thinking. Wait, um, you just told her to calm down and she calmed down? Yeah. Yeah, I have this a feeling, is, this, this, might, I have, I have this, a feeling this might not be a she. <laughs> we are playing a game <laughs> based in a fantasy universe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she uh, she uh, she backs off and says, "You know what? I'm sorry. This is none of my business." <laughs> that's that's based. <laughs> that's fucking based, that's, dude. Like you well, deal with we'll talk this. to the spiders again. Yep, we'll go talk to the spiders. Yeah. You have fun with this dead body. I guess some people just want to give headless corpses honorable burials. I don't know much of your guys' culture. I'm sorry if I offended you. All right, you guys ready to head back? Yes. Yep. Okay. So are you guys trying to? So you guys want to talk uh, to uh, the the spiders first, maybe rest if necessary. Asmund does. Yeah. I don't know why he wants to go back to the is, spiders. Is Timmy just is Timmy undead now? Like he gave me the thumbs up. Like is he moving? He definitely seems to be twitching a little bit as you uh, as you carry him. Yeah, that's something. All Watch right. You, Timmy. So we're gonna kind of bring you back. So you walk back the way you came uh, with uh, the uh -huh. spiders immediately rejoin you uh, when uh, you when you kind of you know got back. Uh, they uh, they meet up with their other uh, friends back relocation and out there they are uh, they're glad to see you, uh, namely because it seems like they're they're very happy that you guys did something. The force the force seems to be getting better. Uh, we'll assume that you had your meditation ready to go that's because you got plenty of time to cast it is there anything you'd like to say to them um you try to ask them for quarter if you want to camp here what are you trying to do i will say to them i would say to them i would be like look what we got we got the magic rock and i take the rock and i hold it up and i show it to them they uh each one jumps up a little bit like, directly off the ground uh like one two feet three feet back down in uh, in various orders uh, orders uh they seem uh they seem really happy thank you wild man wild man with the axe forest is safe 
if you want to rest in forest, we will guard you. We will protect you from beasts. If you want to go home, we will escort you. Make sure no beast gets in your way. Thank you, Axeman. Axeman. That's a good name. That's a good, I like that name. Thank you, Axeman. of course. Perfect. Uh, you guys trying to make camp? Yeah. You trying to hit home? You yes. Camp. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's camp. Sounds so good to me. Let's camp. We'll go ahead and transition to a long rest. Um, you don't have to go too far back in. You're just going to sit right here. So here's what happens on a long rest. First thing, all of you guys go back to full HP. Uh, mm -hmm. So you guys recover, you rest, you deal with your wounds. Uh, it's it's going to be quite nice. I'm assuming McConnell, you guys will figure out how you want to uh, split the loot. And all of you guys get your spell slots and all of those class features uh, back. Which is going to be, uh, which is going to be quite nice. All, all right. right. So we'll go all ahead right. and make make some things. Yeah, you guys are looking pretty good. Uh, the armor has uh, fallen off um, over time, uh, but it's it's all good. You got your spells uh, back. And in throughout the night, you don't need to have any watch. All of you can get a good amount of sleep. Uh, one of you do notice that in the morning, when you guys wake up, uh, the wounds on your friend here, right? have completely disappeared it's as if they've just been uh uh just undone as if they never existed in the first place uh, she's feeling uh, quite ready to go and uh she first has a question for you uh before you guys uh leave so the blue one here said he has a person that we can talk to who would know more about these gems as you can tell i don't look particularly normal i'm gonna need to find a way to get into that city. But other than that, I'm going to rely on you guys. And as promised, if you guys help me, I can help you guys speak with the elders of my tribe. I'm sure they can have some sort of reward for you. Don't tell oh. this to too many people, but we have all kinds of magical artifacts that we may be able to bless you with. Oh, well, 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 I hear that. I say, does y'all have an axe? There is an axe, actually. How big is it? Is, it? it is quite bigger than you. We may have to modify it a little bit. No, no, no. Bit. Why would you need to do that? I could hold it. Uh, it'd be fine. I'm strong enough to hold that. I'm sure it'll be a, a fun dinnertime activity. But of course, if that's what you'd like, uh, I can for sure uh, put you in contact uh, with the tribe once we get there. So here's okay. the deal. You find a way to get me into that city. We get some more information about what's going in. And then I'll bring you back to meet the elders and I'll grant you some kind of reward. I can't give you money. We don't really deal with gold coins like you people do, but I think we can find some kind of magical trinket, one for the each of you. How does that sound? That sounds good great. Me, I do have an idea though. What would if you like? we can, If we can find a person that will help you get the information you need, could you, instead of going into the city, could we bring the person of interest outside the city to you? Why to would we do that? I already have the solution. What's the solution? Put her in the bag. Put her in the bag. That's a good idea. Put her in the bag. Bag girl. Would you be willing to get inside the bag? He, she glances at it and she looks back at the rotting corpse and she points at it saying, I can hold my breath quite long. I don't feel comfortable getting into it right now, but how about when we get closer, I'll jump in the bag and then you're gonna have to pull me out or do whatever it is that you were doing back with those items. I'm not particularly too sure about how this works. I'm okay with it, but just don't let me stay in there for maybe I can hold my breath for about 30 minutes. Jeez Louise. Wow. Uh, what a woman. Okay. Um, that's uh, fine. You know, yeah. to make some room though, inside the bag, so you have a bit more. There's already you know, enough room, McConnell. I don't, I don't think so. I think we need to. I think we need to finally address the big elephant. You, you're right. Here. You're right. There is not enough room. I take out one pot stone and I give it to McConnell. I say, no, how, how do you do that? If I have, if I'm holding the bag, wait, what? Yeah. You still you have never... it. I thought, I, I no, thought no, 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 could... I, no, 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 no. I've got the bag. What? Uh huh. You did. Oh, you weren't listening. No, I forgot about that part. Yeah, I've I got the bag, bag buddy. I, I took the bag. This is the worst day ever. It's pretty bad for you. <laughs> this is so bad. Like, oh my god. All right. So, I already know everything that's in the bag. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to take all this shit out while we're yeah. resting. And uh, what what is the full list of, of 
things in the back here again so I can properly just distribute it? It's really yes. hard for me. I don't know exactly what's all is in the bag. Yes, we'll assume that if uh, that Asmin was telling the truth back then, because I actually looked at it, it's good. You have, yeah. there are a whole bunch of pot stones, I think nine of them. Okay. And those are, those yeah. are empty, they're not loaded, you have to do something with them. There are, there were six uh, assorted potions. They seem a little bit murky. You're not quite sure what they do, uh, but they seem like they could be identified uh, by someone. There are five gems. Four of them, you don't really know uh, exactly what they are, but one of them for sure is a normal ass ruby. Uh, it would go, it would go for some, um, uh, for some cash. But uh, other than that, uh, you don't really know about the rest. So it seems like uh, you could divvy them out just by just raw amounts, uh, just because the pot stones are unused, uh, the potions are a mystery, or you can hold them onto you and get them identified if you'd like to uh, do that later in the city. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give three pot stones to me, Rich, and Asmin. I'm gonna give two potions to me, Rich, and Asmin. And then, uh, I'm gonna give, um, one gem to me, one gem to Rich, and three of the gems to Asmin. I think that's total. I think that's totally fair. Wait, I get how many rocks do I get? Three. You get three. How gems. many rocks does everybody else get? One. <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless yeah, unless you want to get arrogant, and then maybe I take all five. No, I, I I deserve more than everybody else. If this makes sense. You deserve it. Okay, I'm gonna take two actually. Then so I, do I still get three? Maybe. Do you want to keep talking shit? Do I? So, so then Rich gets zero. No. Why? Why? Rich gets one. He always gets one. Uh, why? Why, why? Who made that rule? Me. Fuck. All right. All right. That's fine. Fine. All right. I get, I get two. You get two. Rich gets one. Well, I get two. Oh, all right. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Man, how hey, what's your name, by the way? Uh, she walks up to you and says, you can call me Ellie. What's yours? You call me Rich Ellie. I put out my hand. She, uh, as she reaches out, and it seems like she's seen a handshake before, because she does uh, shake it up and down with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of vigor. Doesn't really know exactly what she's doing. Uh, but a pleasure to meet you. Uh, rich so it seems like you've made friends you now know her name and you can you can refer to her perfect so it seems like mcconnell you have laid down the law as the moral compass of the party um uh bringing it full circle uh with the loot goblin like behavior before which i think is uh very in character for you especially now that you leveled up you guys ready to disembark to the city yes sir yeah much old. okay here we here we go. We're going to bring you back to the city. We we'll put her in the bag before we go in there, obviously. Yes. So we'll assume that you get all the way back in right to the gates. And remember, when you left, you saw that security is a lot more intense, but you figured out a clever way uh, to get um, uh, to get her uh, back in. And you also have the other dead body uh, with you that uh, Rich has been carrying on his back the entire time. Uh, are you doing anything with that one as well? I feel uh, like this thing's about to come alive. Like I, I I'm not. I'm pretty committed to this. I, I let. I we could put the dead body in the bag with her. She's not gonna like that. It's fine. What's she gonna do? Scream in the bag? I mean, it's fine. What's she gonna it's... come out and then complain about it? It's gonna be a bad time, man. Uh, I, like... I don't know. She seems. She seems pretty. Uh, she seems pretty progressive. Like all things considered. All right. Man. Jesus Christ. A little on the nose there, Rich. Wait, wait, what do you mean? I was talking about the fact that she's getting in the bag. Yeah, of course. All right, look, I think we just leave the corpse out here because the fucking corpse. It's not going to come back. Is she, is she I, in I, the bag? I, I, I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull Asmin. I'm going to pull Asmin to the side. Okay. And let's talk to Asmin. All right, and go ahead. Ma make sure that McConnell can't hear me or nobody can hear me. And I'm gonna say, I say, look, dude, I keep it 100p with you. 
I jabbed this corpse with some pretty powerful magic, and it's going to be our undead servant anytime now. We just gotta stall a little bit longer. I know you very well. I know you're really good at, at, at stalling in situations like these. Keep McConnell off my case, and we're gonna have an undead pet. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Makes sense. All right. I'll give it one day to become an undead pet. And then if it doesn't, try two days. I'll give it two days to be an undead pet. If it's not, then I say, fuck it. We're going to throw it away. We'll throw it in their water or something like that. Perfect. Does that work? Yeah, it works for me. Yes, and um, McConnell, to answer your question, yes. Uh, we had started this one with her getting in the back. So basically, there's a clock for about 30 minutes that she said that she can hold her breath uh, before she has to start uh, breathing again. Hey, boys, maybe we should, maybe oh, we should get oh, going. Let's get in there. Come on, let's go, guys. All right, let's go. Uh, just tell the, the... tell the guards that we, uh, the church, it's going to the church. The corpse is going to the church. What? Yeah, it's tell them that it's going to the church. And that way, Rich could just carry the corpse around in the in, Listen, in the city. I, I don't know what you're doing with the corpse, okay? But if you tell the guards that you're just leaving a corpse outside the goddamn walls, that you're, you're not going to have a corpse anymore. I'm no, no, right we're now. bringing it with us because he's ours. We're going to bring it. You're going to bury the corpse at the church? No, no, we just, no, we, that's what we tell them, but we're not going to do that. Really? So what are you going to do with it? We're going to just carry it around. Oh, okay. Sounds that's good. A good, idea. That's I, a good idea. I'm not, yeah. I don't need to do any sort of check there. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bury him. We're we're just carrying. It's my friend, and we're gonna bury him. Yeah, Sounds good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, McConnell can't act like he's gonna complain about that. He's had to deal with this the whole time. That's right. Yeah, I I don't know what's going on. I don't know why you're. I don't know why you guys keep doing this. Like, well, let's just go. All right, let's go. Where are you guys headed? Uh, we want to go back to the uh the gem collector guy that is gonna give uh all of us two hundred gold pieces. Ah, yes, you want to head to Ozzy. So in the interest of yes. time, we'll just assume that you need the same story. That like, we're taking this body, yeah. we gotta, uh, we gotta, we gotta dispose of it. So we will bring you back to the Heaven's Heel. Because he lets you know that he would be taking some time to chill there. So give me a quick second, boys. Okay. All right, I'll load you back in. Okay, uh, well, I want to go up to him and tell him that we have the, uh, where the fuck is he? Where the fuck, where is he? I'm trying to look around. I don't know where the hell he is. I don't even know which one he was, honestly. I don't remember. So first, I'm when you get in, the bouncers immediately yeah. stop you. Uh, yeah. Uh, pointing at uh, the dead body, oh, which I will drop let on me, the let, me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Okay, um, okay so I, uh, I, I walk up to both the guards and, and I say, ah, a brothel, a place where the wishes of men come true. Let me tell you a story of a great hero who had but one dying wish to be surrounded by the most beautiful women in all the land. Now, I do not think that you two gentlemen would want to deny a hero his just due rights. So you're trying to uh, say that you're bringing uh, this dead body in so that it may enjoy some last company before it's on its way to the grave. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Can you roll deception for me? <laughs> 16. Up to 16. They look at each other, they look at the dead body, which doesn't have a head, and think, it's like, well, it definitely, it definitely lost its self in some kind of combat. You can see that there look, is- it, look, it really needs head. It really needs head. <laughs> One of them comes out, and they start talking, and they say, they glance at it, and be like, you know, we still really can't let you bring a dead body inside. You're going to have to do something about it. But if for whatever reason you want it inspected, which very specifically hot in the woods, we can make something work. What are you really here for? We need to talk to Ozzy. Look, he's got money. Yeah, we need to talk to him. I got to find out. 
Man, maybe we just put her in the bag, man. Maybe we just put him in the bag. Put him in the bag. Put him in the bag. You're what? What? You're gonna put what? a fucking corpse in the bag with the goddamn Fey lady? Yeah, she'll. It'll give her a couple minutes of it, or a couple. She's not even gonna. She not. She not even gonna know about it because uh, it's gonna be in. It's gonna. It's gonna be in the dark, and uh, by the time she like feels around and realizes he ain't got a head, we're gonna pull her out. It's gonna be okay. Who has the bag? Who's holding it? You are. We're, uh, hold the Absolutely bag. Absolutely not. You're not. What, listen, why? I step in front. I'll hold the bag. Listen, I step to the side of Rich. I tell. I immediately. I immediately tell the bouncers he's full of shit. Okay, Rich is lying to them. He has lied to them the entire time. What happened is the body is. It, it, this is the body of a goddamn forest bandit who Rich attacked. Okay, and Asman, the guy with the axe over there, fucking cut his head off. God that's, damn right. And that's the body. Yeah, that's right. The I this sla right. I slap McConnell across the face. Yep. <laughs> you want to make an unarmed attack? I just, just I'm just putting him in his place. I sla I backhand him. I, I backhand him, and then I look at the guards and, I'll, I, and I say, "I'm sorry. He 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 has seen so much." There is these adventures. They've been too much for him. He is a frail and fragile man, both mentally and physically. And we really do think that at this brothel, he will be able to find some healing and hopefully Rich. be able to pull himself together. We don't have time for your bullshit, man. We we're on I, a clock. We're on a timer. I, I here. go, shh. I go, shh. No. Be calm. Be calm. We will get you what you want. And then we, we just walk in. And uh, one of the bouncers uh, stops as you're going in, saying, Look, at the very least, let's get your cover in. Turning to uh, the uh, cleric, uh, you can hear him whisper, uh, because you got you got those good uh, tiefling ears, and you're very close to them in, in this little uh, conversation. And you can hear her say, Miss Seiya would like to know about this. And then he nods and says, Sure, I'll just have to scan you for any diseases, and I'm sure we could make something work. You can go ahead and talk to your friend, but we're going to have some people asking some questions. I'm sure you wouldn't mind paying cover, cover as good customers up to, of course, nothing bad at all. And I'm sure you said that this was a hero. You wouldn't mind if he pays cover as well. Yep. Yeah, of course not. Absolutely not. Rich McConnell, pay the man. All right. It'll be eight gold for the four of you. You are shitting That's me. That's a lot, guys. Damn. You're actually... Oh, my God. Here, I hand him the gold. Yep. Uh, so you have him the gold. Uh, uh, Ramakon? Yes. Okay. Thanks. So as you hold the gold, the uh, the cleric reaches... Uh, as you're kind of exchanging uh, the gold, see him lean in and says, Don't worry. We'll keep an eye on the situation. Just make sure nothing gets out of hand. Okay, Paladin? Yeah, I got it. I got you. All right. Seems like uh, they have their idea. You guys are free to enter in. Let's go find Ozzy, man. We got we to gotta get the fuck in here. Where is he at, man? I don't remember. Where is he? I see, I see him, dude. He's over where? here to the left. The left? He's over here to the... Wait, is this the left? Is that the... Let me see. Where's he at? Oh, there uh, he is. You see yeah. a voice on the balcony immediately shout at you. It's like, oh, you guys, you guys came back and oh, wow, you guys, you guys look dirty. It was a full day. Yeah, we did what we need to do, but listen, look, 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 look at this, dude. We got, we got the rock, and I take out the rock, and I show him the rock. All right, come, let's go, uh, let's have a nice, let's have a nice chat on these, uh, these really plush uh, sofas. Okay. Uh, glances around, uh, seems like there's no one here. It's not very busy this time of the day, and honestly, uh, we don't want there to be too many. Is that a headless body he says pointing uh immediately at uh rich who's bringing on this corpse on his back and don't worry about it don't worry about it no, it's oh, not. you should worry about no, it, it. Don't, it don't worry about you it. should no, worry no, about it please worry about this we're, that's we're just doing the one, job I, we're working the problem that's one way to As look at it cut this guy's head off no i didn't cut his head off his head got cut off head off i told him not to it got cut off no you cut it off you gotta worry we're, we're, we're about it. I didn't cut off the axe. Don't worry about it. The axe did Ozzie, that. I didn't do that. Ozzy, are you listening? I'm listening and I am very confused. 
Get, okay. get, this, get, get the chick out of the bag, all right? Otherwise, we're going to have All right, well, I'll, I'll, all right. I'll, 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 I pulled the chick out of the bag. I pulled the chick out of the bag. All right, you, you reach in. Uh, you imagine, okay, I just need to pull. I just need to find her and pull her out and just help lift her up so that she can take a, a gasp of air. And uh, and she's able to kind of reach out and put, help pull herself out of the bag. And uh, she crawls right out uh, and just uh, glancing around and says, Wow, this is a place with a... Uh, a lot of stimulus. This is, I've never been in a place like this before. Is this where we find the gem man? Yeah, uh, this is I'm where straight we ahead. I straight ahead. Yeah, and I say, yep, there he is. And I pointed at Ozzy. And I said, we got something for you. So, uh, what, uh, so, uh, could you carry on the conversation? Cause he's staring at you very confused of what has just pers uh, perspired. All right. Or transpired. Ozzy, after you gave us the mission, we went into the forest, okay? And we traveled a little bit, and we came upon some, what we thought were travelers, and Rich and Asmin here smoked weed with them. Just a okay? second. So basically what happened, let me let me just interrupt McConnell. So we were, I did not smoke weed. That's disgusting, number one. Number two, uh, the craziest thing happened, Ozzy is that we were just having a nice, pleasant conversation with these people, and out of nowhere, they pull out their sword, and they start attacking Rich and I. Now, luckily for our combat prowess, we were able to uh, overcome them and defeat them. However, uh, I do want to emphasize the fact that they did uh, attack us, and so we had to do whatever we needed to do. And I, I get nice sit in front of McConnell so we can't look at Ozzy. No, anymore. that's not what happened. Hey, that's guys, not what happened. Guys, that's none not of this, really... uh, I walk over and I say, hey, look, look, there's, there are a million things we could talk about. We, we could talk about anything right now, but there's only one thing matters and that's the gems. Yeah. And I extend, uh, I take both of the, the gems out of my pocket and be like, what what is the meaning of these gems? What is the power that they contain and where do they come from? And he glances uh, a left to the right. Seems like he's not buying Asmund's story very much right now because it seems like something else has caught his attention. He's glancing at the gems and glances back at your uh, your new party member and glances back at them again and uh, and just gently strokes his beard. You want to know more about these gems right here in particular? These two things. Where did you find them? Um. So. So. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So one was in the spider. Yeah, so one of these was inside of a spider attached to a spike, and the other one was uh, atta uh, attached to a spike and planted in the ground in the woods. It, wa it wasn't were, a spider, though, was they it? Were it was lucky, they were lucky that I was there uh, to do to do so much damage to break the uh, gem out, Ozzy. I just wanted to let you know. And so just in terms of, like, the amount of effort, perhaps, like, if you took 600, I did about half the effort. So if I got 300 gold pieces and the other two got 100, it would be a little bit more. Actually, you know what? 400 gold pieces and they just got. Wait, did I do the math wrong? Wait, yes, guys, what's what's 200 plus 100 plus 100? I and mean, your math is off because I already uh, already paid you. Tell. I already paid you half the gold before you guys left. What? You, yeah, you already paid us, man. <laughs> I paid you half. I'm going to give you another hundred gold uh, per person uh, as he starts uh, uh, going to his uh, wallet to kind of figure out platinum. But he seems a lot more concerned. He's starting to sort you guys' payment as he talks. But he says, slow down. Give it to me nice and clear. Okay. All right. Uh, how did you find this? So after our encounter with the bandits, which they did not start we started that and unfortunately we had to end it okay but so we're in the fault that's where the corpse has come from it's one, the corpse of one of the bandits that we unfortunately slew us completely unprovoked we then went further into the forest and we sensed a evil presence there and we were attacked by a great big fucking uh beast like creature i'm not sure if it was a spider or what but we also got attacked by spiders uh, a little bit, but when we slew the great beast, uh, our uh, our companion here, and then I motioned to the, the, the fae, she uh, 
she popped out of the creature and had the the gem with the uh, the stick on it, and uh, and then we went further into the forest and we found this like really dark and just evil feeling area of the forest where there was these vines that would grip you and and hold you in place and hurt you and the 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 forest floor was like flesh when you stepped on it and we finally came upon the crystal with the with the with the stick and asman waded into the the there was like a black fog with purple mist around it and he waded into there and and grabbed it out of the ground and the forest started healing itself slowly glances at uh, the companion that you point, uh, pointed and says does this match up? Was the force actually getting better? And she nods. He turns back to you and says, okay. I don't know how much you know about these particular things, but I can tell you one thing. I sent you out there to figure out what was going on in that forest. I expected one gem, one gem maybe corroded, eaten by something or something. I didn't expect something driven in this way, because these, you, you kind of looked at the spikes and said, these were in something. Looks clear at the one that you remember came from uh, that beast. He's corroborating your story in his head, kind of tracking it just to make sure that everything lines up. He's muttering to himself, yes, this was embedded in something. This was embedded in the ground. This was flesh. This was ground. Okay. Okay. He turns to you and says, these came, these definitely came from the mainland. I'm absolutely sure of it. Rich, can you roll me insight, please? Yes, I can. Uh... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's a 20 minus 1, 2 and 19. You notice two things. As he's talking about each of these uh, spikes and glancing through them, corroborating the story. You notice his eyes shift around. It almost seems like he's paying more attention to your fey friend than the spikes. He's concerned about the spikes, most definitely. But he's feeling a lot more... a lot more concerned about the fact that there is this fey that's come with you. He's much more concerned and much more interested in that. The second thing you realize is that he he seems like he already knows a lot a, a lot more about this than he's letting on. It seems like he's not telling you a couple of things, maybe because he wants to insulate information. You're not quite sure, but you have the feeling he's definitely hiding something from you. And you realize this before he gets to say anything else. Do you want to respond or do you want to let him finish? Um, I, uh, Ozzy, Ozzy, I, 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 um, I, I kind of, you know, like deception is deceptive to the Fae because she doesn't know. That, like, I, I just told her that I knew this gem collector, right? I basically I, I put my arm around him and I start laughing and I go, oh, before we get into to the details, my old friend, it's about time we we catch up and pull him aside uh, so the Fae can't hear uh, me talk to him. And I attempt to kind of walk off into a uh, private place in the brothel with him as everybody else stays uh, stays with her. Gotcha. Yeah, he will continue with you. It motions to you guys. is like, I'll, I'll talk to your friend first. Um, kind of, you guys can go off, I'll go into an empty room. Here. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. He will come in with you. What's going on? He says. Uh, what do you have to say? I, like, you tell me. I, I, I could tell that you were you were taken aback by the Fae. Uh, let's actually get down to business. Let's get down to brass tacks. Tell me everything you know. I thought I hired a bunch of idiots. Okay. Look, I'm gonna keep it to you real straight. You've noticed that there's a lot of guards here. You've noticed there's a lot of people up and about the city. They're not very smart. Some people grew up here. A lot of the people that get transferred in, they're usually here because of either bad behavior or non-performance in their duties. I'm a gem collector, and I'm here for a reason. I dabble into a lot of arcane magics, but I'm gonna tell you something about that Fae. 
don't trust her. I've researched this island quite a lot. I've talked to many locals, and you hear rumors about something called a truth elf. There's a common tale about someone going off to the city of Deepmoor to trade with some of the lizard folks, and occasionally they'll bring offerings for these truth elves. And if the offering's good enough, they'll cast their truth magic on anyone you bring with you. Some people have used this to find out uh, infidelity in their marriages. It's a common rumor, and that's the reason why I asked to be transferred here. I guarantee this to you. Go talk to any one of these other idiot gem collectors, and you can say that it's a little bit of a biting a tone of that. They're here for work, and they're here for profit. But I, I'm here for knowledge. These truth elves hide a secret. And I can tell you right now, they have some kind of magic that lets them manipulate time. This is one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of magic. And you, you are a warlock. You must share some of the desire and thirst to understand the arcane as I do. I need to get to the bottom of this. But rest assured, I am but an academic, and I simply want to extend the realm of magical knowledge just by a little bit for all our people. That's why I traveled here from the south. But I am telling you, I'm not lying about any of these bikes. These are of Nasarian make. They have been modified through and through by a Nasarian agent, someone who knows this magic inside out. They have not been planted here willy-nilly. They've been planted here by a specific agent for a specific reason, and that reason has something to do with the undead. There's not much that can happen on this island that would attract their attention, except for those elves. I think this was done very specifically to bring some of them out, which means I'm going to twist this conversation to try to get us back, because she is in great danger. There is a Nasarian agent among us. I'm not lying. You're going to have to trust me. What do you say? I shake his hand and I say, uh, the path of knowledge is one we will walk down together. All right. Okay, you're going to have to help me steer this conversation a little bit, but rest assured, I promise you, if there's someone spawning undead on this island, this is going to be very bad for the people here. And as much as I said about this area, I do want to do my research. I do also want to attend that pepper festival. We have to move quickly if you want to save some lives. Will you work with me on this one? Let's go. All right. Okay, let's, he let's head back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta hit my door real quick. One sec. Gotcha. So I'll move you back in to the conversation. So as you guys uh, get back, he takes a seat. A rich comes back with him. Uh, they seem to be talking about a whole bunch of things. They're still whispering with each other as they come in. Ozzy uh, speaks forward uh, to you guys. I had a talk with your friend here. Look, this undead information is bad news. I can give some information on this, but it's not going to be too interesting. I talk with your friend here. He is a warlock. He knows much about the arc, uh, the dark arts. We need to get your friend home. She's in danger here. But more importantly, we need to share this knowledge with her people. I can explain more to you guys, but what will it take it for you guys to believe me? I'm all ears. Wait, what ha what happened? What'd you guys talk about? He stands up and he can tell his voice is a little bit panicked. He's he's rushing a little bit. He takes a step right in front of you. He speaks to both. Look, I don't want to talk too much about this. We can we can travel. We can talk on the way there. But here's what I'm going to ask. These spikes are here by some kind of intelligent agent. Someone is up to no good, and if someone's here to disrupt the order on the island, they're well on their way of doing it. I'm primarily concerned that this is going to affect her tribe as well. I've been studying the rumors on this island, 
but there's a reason why they don't show up among people very often. You would believe me on this one, would you? None of your tribe people come down to the city. And you notice that she does not. She turns back to you. Paladin, we need to get her back out of here. We need to get her back to her people. I'll explain whatever you want to know on the way there, and I'll pay you as an escort. But undoubtedly, this has drawn her out. We need to bring this information back to her people so they can figure out what to do because they simply they simply deserve to know. Okay. I uh I understand that time is of the essence, so I immediately get the bag, I hold it open, and I usher the Fey inside the bag. Okay, before she gets in, she glances around and she says, I'll be very honest, I don't trust the lot of you fully right now, but rest assured I have magic that can fix that. We don't need to rush too fast through the forests. I can fast travel. There is a ley line nearby. Take me there and I will lead you right when we get out of this forest and we'll begin our journey there. 30 minutes, rush out of the city. Do not delay. Understand? Understood. Thank you. As she, okay. she jumps back in, uh, nods, and she disappears into the darkness. You guys have a clock. You need to exit the city. I'm assuming you guys are going to... You're going to run. You're going to be trying to get her out to get her back out? Yes. Okay. The clock is ticking. You have 30 minutes to get out. Uh, you you move through with Ozzy. Everything's looking nice and fine in the interest of time. Uh, don't worry about this. She exits the you exit the city. You let her out, and immediately, without another word, she immediately begins leading you guys forward. Clearly hasty. Uh, Ozzy's making some small talk with her. Not too much. She doesn't seem very interested. And she takes you to the small creek off by the side of the city. Oh. Okay. Okay. And you can tell she is definitely starting uh, to panic a little bit. Now she turns to you and explains. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're good. Now, our people can sense the natural flows of magic in this world. She says as she starts to cross the river, it's, okay. it's very shallow. She doesn't even seem bothered by it at the, at the lightest. You can see that the whiskers on her eyebrows perk up as if they're responding to some kind of magic around. She's walking forward. Ozzy is coming with you. I'm assuming all of you are going to be going in. And you can tell that she is trying to rush something. I'm going to open up a portal. This will spit us out back at her home. Whatever you do, just jump in with conviction. I promise you, this will be fine. Don't cast any magic, all right? Okay. Starts to summon uh, these energies around here. And you can see that this portal starts to open right in front of her. It's a swirling blue purple energy. Oh! Whoa. Whoa. Do not tell anyone else about this. I'll go in first along with your friend. Ozzy, I think they were calling you. Give me your hand. She holds his hand. I will jump in, and you three or four follow us. But you have to do this in the next couple of seconds. All right? She takes okay. a step back with Ozzy, and both of them disappear from sight. We going in, boys? Yeah, I'm going in, dude. I jump in. I say, fuck it. Okay. Let's go. You step into the portal and instantly you can feel this wave of energy kind of pulse towards you, almost like uh, you can feel your soul separate from your body for a quick moment before slowly sinking back in, kind of like it just got jarred out of place and it's just kind of coming back. The light swirls around you, and it's looking. At first, you feel like there's a lot of seasickness kind of feelings out there, and you can hear a little bit of crackling. It's like there's a light at the very end of the tunnel, and it's emitting noise. But suddenly, you feel what sounds like a trombone or big horn. Blare out with noise. Your vision goes white. And you're spat out on the ground somewhere. You're disoriented. You have, uh, you can see all three of you kind of tumble out, uh, out, out of something. You're just like, okay, this is a, 
This is this is interesting. You feel the grass and it's lush. It is alive. It's thick and it's burgeoning, almost like a head full of hair. The ground is very fertile, and right next to you there are these stones with some glittering fireflies. You're still in the middle of tinnitus nausea. You start to get to your feet. You look around you, nothing too, nothing too out of the ordinary. But as your vision starts to clear, you can start to see further and further in the distance. And something starts to look quite off. The, the trees are tall, blue, teal, green mushrooms the size of your chest. You glance around you. This is like a force you've never seen before. She was not lying. She did spit you out somewhere. But you glance around and you realize you are totally alone. Oh. And I think we're at time. Oh. And this is where we're going to call the session today. Oh. Okay. Uh, you're, right. a, you're a killer with these, dude. All right. Give me a sec. I got to get them off. Okay, I got it. I think I got them off. All right. There's a lot. That's a lot. It was like, I, I don't know. I, maybe we shouldn't have gone in the portal. I should have let y'all go and then I should have just stayed out and done whatever I wanted. But, you know, it's fine. Okay, that's okay. Gentlemen, I want to say thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, we've gone on for quite a while, and so I appreciate everybody tuning in and uh, enjoying this. Thank you also, uh, Rich McConnell and also Riku. Thank you guys so much. It's been another very, very good episode. Thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, wow. Fuck, man. What? What's wrong? I, these cliffhangers, man, or they're so it's brutal. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay? actually so brutal. It's dude. totally okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, we're gonna find the fairy, and then we're gonna wait. Well, we don't have Ozzy here either. I just realized that. Oh, we are fucked, man. Okay, all right. So listen, we're gonna do that, and on top of that, we're going to uh, probably return, do this a little bit more next Saturday. So thank you guys all so much for watching today. I really fucking appreciate it. Thank you, thank you guys so much. Obviously, you guys can follow uh, Rich. I think you guys know Rich's stream, Rich Campbell. You can follow um, McConnell. Um, uh, Why? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, I, 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 I don't know. And you can also follow Riku. Uh, Riku D20. Twitch.tv slash Riku D20. Uh, he's our DM for this uh, this campaign. Uh, he's done a great job putting everything together. Make sure to go ahead and give him a follow and give him your support. Uh, thank you guys so much for being part of this. Thank you also everybody who's been working in the background to making all of this possible. You guys have been killing it. The show has been very good. Thank you everybody for watching today. I really appreciate it. And tomorrow we will return turn back in the morning and tomorrow i'm feeling like uh feeling like we're gonna finish heaven's work d2 so i'm excited about it oh yeah i i probably will play some d2 like i i'm just afraid of investing time into it right now because i know it's gonna get reset and it's gonna get reset again in like the open beta i'm pretty sure too so like i'm i'm afraid to do that like what if i get a really good item you know yeah, like i don't know i kind of do want to try it yeah we'll see what happens yeah either way Thank you guys all so much for watching. I really fucking appreciate it. And till next time. And the next time, boys. Till next time. You go to Act 2? Oh, yeah, maybe I can try that. All right, boys. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time. Peace!